World School Rugby Festival, Thailand, Patana.
A very good morning to you from the Patana Sports Resort in Thailand for the World Schools Festival 2022. It's a beautiful day here. We've got a, a temperatures of uh, just around the mid to late uh, 20s and a lovely strong breeze blowing uh, left to right as you look at the field. It's about a 10 to 15 knot breeze so it's going to be quite influential on the play today. Uh, our first match is the uh, Rugby Travel Academy from South Africa playing the Odyssey 15 which is a true barbarian side containing players from uh, Fiji, New Zealand, South Africa um, and uh, UK. They, they came together um, on uh, Sunday. They've had uh, two training sessions so it should be a real entertaining game to watch. Um, and then after that, uh, the Odyssey 15 again will combine with the RTA to play Hamilton in the next game. That's going to be a pretty exciting game. And then we get into the uh, big fixtures for the day where we've got an all-European affair. Uh, we've got St Michael's from uh, Ireland, the champions there, against Cardiff and Vale, the Welsh champions. Um, and that kickoff is uh, at 13:45 local time, 6:45 London, 17:45 Sydney, and 19:45 Auckland. And then we've got the big England game, which is going to be Sebra versus Millfield, um, and that's uh, for the English Schools Championship. So that's a, a real classic there. And then we're going to finish off with some real quality. We've got uh, Grays College the powerhouse from South Africa, Bloemfontein, and uh, we've got them playing Trinity School from London, who haven't lost a game all season. So we've got some fantastic rugby coming on with the young talent of the future. Uh, we'll hopefully see some uh, brilliant play, and we look forward to receiving your comments over the uh, channel. And we'll just wait for the teams to come out, and the uh, Odyssey will be doing a hacker as well, so it'll be great fun. So out come Odyssey, uh, their shirt numbers uh, are not relevant to their positions so they're wearing their club shorts and club socks in true barbarian style. Their shirt numbers were issued based on uh, their registration with the squad uh, which has taken place over the last month and a half and then uh, we'll wait for the RTA to take the field. Here come RTA. And the officials take the field. The uh, referee today is uh, referee Arif from Malaysia. And the format of the game will be uh, two half-hour halves with uh, water breaks every 15 minutes for two minutes and obviously a five-minute half-time. And then a quick changeover into the next game. There are rolling subs, so uh, players can come on and off. We're, we're very keen to maintain the player welfare here and player safety. And obviously as the day warms up, that will be imperative for their uh, rehydration and keeping themselves fit because they've got a lot of rugby this week. The next uh, round of games will be on Thursday and then the final round of games are on uh, Saturday. So, here comes the Odyssey Hacker.
Ah, uh, so there we go. We're now off and running. So it looks like it's RTA to kick off. Uh, they've got uh, the advantage of the win for the first half. Strong uh, supporters to my ref, uh, to my right, sorry, from uh, the RTA, which is great to hear. So away we go. World Schools Festival already up and going. Ball dropped. Oh, he's away already. RTA putting on the pressure. Great tackle. So straight on defence for the Odyssey, not forward, the playing advantage, it's going to be a fast open game I think for the start here. Recycled by Odyssey. So they got the break. Still going strong, good tackling by RTA. So referee is Call the game back for a knock-on by RTA. Scrum down. So uh, should be interesting because I gather the RTA only came together last Thursday. So uh, neither side has had tremendous time to perfect the set pieces. So it should be a very interesting first uh, scrum. Louis Rayner from uh, Dubai Hurricanes and Sebra to put the ball in for Odyssey. There it goes. Good ball taken by Gusson. Off they go to the right. Looking to spin it. Oh, what a shame. Good plan. So throw in to RTA. With this win, the lineouts are going to be. Uh, an interesting affair for both sides. Uh, going for a five man lineup by the looks of things. line out nice and clean by RTA they start the rumble into the 22 he's away just a slight slip good tackle ball quickly recycled and it's a penalty for not rolling away so RTA game for the line out they seem to have got this cracked looks like a, a catch and drive Good D by Odyssey. Good D, the penalty, the arm is out, advantage to RTA. Ball goes out. So going back for the advantage, referee calling offside by Odyssey. Odyssey is coached by Mark Mippeltoft for this game and then in the second game it will be coached by Vessel de Plessis. Mark is the England under 18 uh, and 20s back and attack coach and Vessel de Plessis is the Bulls under 20s coach. So ball goes in towards the end of the line-out was a big thing. Good D by Odyssey, they're breaking it up. 
However, it looks like Artie are getting a run on, getting a rumble. Good D by Odyssey. Oh, they've got it. Not rolling away again. That's going to be the challenge for a lot of these sides. And he powers, it's a try time. Odyssey not quite awake here. And RTA take a five point lead using their powerhouse. Difficult kick, kicking to conditions. The wind suddenly picked up here. So that's a great kick. Well done, RTA. 7 0. RTA Odyssey. Caught and driven forward by uh, RTA. Good strong tackles from Odyssey. RTA used the wind. So here come Odyssey at the halfway line. Recycle the ball. It's a penalty advantage for not rolling away. Another recycle, Odyssey taking it out wide to the right. Oof. So need to calm the tackling down by the looks of things from the referee. I think that gives you a flavour of the wind that we got. We only, Odyssey only made about uh, 50, 10 metres on that kick. I think it's the first time they've entered into RTA territory. Let's see how they can uh, do in the lineouts here. Quick short line out. In for a rolling mall. Mayo peaks off. Louis. Big strong passes. Oof. Knocked forward in that uh, attempted catch by RTA. Unlucky to RTA. Intent was good on both sides. As you can see, it's uh, going to be difficult passing conditions. They're not going to get big long passes out to the backs.
free kick, pushing before the uh, ball went in. So RTA run it, good hands. Oof. Good tackling, good. Oh, he's broken the tackle, got the overlap, they got the hands. It's going to be, oh, he's knocked it forward. Unlucky. So, unlucky RTA, lovely little move down the right-hand side. Guttridge takes away. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What a shame. Great pressure by RTA. Odyssey looking to do Barbarian rugby out of the uh, goal area. Unfortunately, Wynn got it, knocked it forward. RTA took the advantage and a try. So, gives you a flavour of the conditions that we're playing in. Well done RTA for picking up on the uh, error so quickly. Should be due our first water break. So 14 nil to RTA against the Odyssey. Hanging kick there, it's gone the 10 meters. So they'll take the scrum. RTA ball. Good pressure, good hands. Oh, he's knocked it forward again. Odyssey pick up. Water break.
So. Second 15 minutes of the first half about to start. It's a scrum down to uh, Odyssey. feed, quick ball. Good drive by uh, Odyssey. Arte standing up to the defence. Still good defence by RTA. Oh, they've taken it off. Odyssey. High tackle, penalty to RTA. And he's going to go for the three points. Keep the scoreboard ticking over. So a successful co penalty conversion takes them to 17-0, uh, extending their lead. A lot of work for Odyssey to do now. Let's see how they respond. kick there. Odyssey players in. Going to bundle him out. That's a good start. Good response. Line out to Odyssey. What are they going to plan here? Again, keeping it to a five-man line out. Both uh, packs putting their forwards into the back line for extra defence. It's a short one. The referee has said it's not five metres. So RTA put in. Oh, big scrum. Big scrum. Lots of pressure on RTA. The fly half does a great job in getting it back. That's kicked outside of the 22, so we're going to go back to where it was kicked. So, can Odyssey respond as they move into the 22 of RTA for the first time in the game? Nice little line out, however. Not straight. Gone to the advantage of RTA. RTA protect the ball nicely. Out to the 10. 
A good exit. Oh, very good exit. 22, there we go. Using the wind, they have the advantage. So everything going RTA way at the, RTA way at the moment. What are they going to produce from here? Sublime kick into the 22 from their 22 using the wind. Again, the wind affecting it. The referee allowing the play to go on despite it not being not straight. And not forward by RTA. So scrum down to Odyssey. down by the referee. Odyssey take a quick one. Guttridge with the ball. Drives forward. Quick recycle. There it is. Penalty again. A high tackle. So, Odyssey doing the barbarian thing. Running it forward. He's on his own a bit. He's on his own a bit. Now they recycle. Collins with the ball, takes it forward nicely. Good clear out by uh, Odyssey. Mail with the ball, driving forward. Good ball retention, good D by RTA. Odyssey probing for gaps. Good clear out again. Odyssey retaining the ball well, however, they're going backwards with a strong defence of RTA. A little backhand pass from a uh, bit of flair from there, and the referee's called offside. Quick penalty. Odyssey are away. Who's with him? Good defence by RTA. A little step again great defense by RTA however the uh, Odyssey are now on the break here we go they're going strong they're gonna go over for their first try yes they are there we go game on lovely well worked move all the way from uh, inside their uh, 22 taking it up Great D by RTA, but the pressure was just too much. And uh, Odyssey with numbers on the uh, blind side, run it in. And uh, hopefully uh, the more scores come from both sides as we uh, near the end of the first half. Waiting for a kicking tee.
So a difficult kick into the wind, despite how close it is to the post. He's going to need a hand holding the ball, so I think it's going to fly off. No, he's... No kick unsuccessful. So 17 points to five in favor of RTA as we near the end of the first half. So, take the uh, long kick with the wind, bit of pressure, scrum down. RTA ball, good response. So a very powerful attacking position for the RTA. What do they do? They feed it to number eight, going blind. Try on. And it's a try time for RTA. I think the wing has just come on. And within a, a minute, he's scored his first try. What a fantastic is that? So, 100% record so far for the RTA fullback. This is a bit more of a challenging kick. Taken on the five meter line. Or just about. Wonderful effort, sadly off to the right. So the score remains at 22-5 to RTA. With uh, most probably just a couple of minutes, if not less, for uh, half time. Hands, great take. Oh, he's breaking out nicely. Tackle, going over the ball. Referee has already got his helm out for going in from the side. Got a bit underneath that. So this is going to go a mighty distance. I think with uh, the skills that we're seeing from this young man here. Yeah, it's a good nudge. So he's just about uh, a couple of meters beyond the 10 meter. Didn't uh, quite get the angle on that one, but it's still a good uh, nudge and the RTA back in Odyssey's territory.
That's a great ball, but it's not straight. So rolling subs coming in on both sides as uh, the coaches keep their players fresh for the next game, which is going to against, uh, be against uh, Hamilton Schoolboys from New Zealand, the New Zealand powerhouse. The referees learn up for pushing for the balls in, free kick, Odyssey away, Rayner takes it on his own, nobody there. And uh, loses it, unfortunately. So let's see where this young man puts the ball now. Oh, that looks like a good kick. Yeah, that's a that's about uh, ten meters from the try line. So a great opportunity for RTA to do a little bit of a rolling maul. All pops are perhaps given out to their backs and give them a stretch. All subs on for uh, Odyssey. Nice, nice line out. Well worked. Good drive uh, defence by Odyssey. Ball still with RTA. And again, a good defensive. Uh, ball now goes out wide. Taken strongly by their number four, their powerhouse. Oh, again, the forwards doing a lot of the work, trying to create a platform for their backs to go in. They got numbers of both sides. Oh, stolen by the. Uh, so Mafati goes, off he goes. He's still going strong, oh, steps nicely. Oh, this boy's got some pace, away he goes. He's still going strong, who's with him? And a lovely tackle by, Odyssey, uh, by RTA. Odyssey now in the 22, it's suddenly picked up. Oh, that was interesting. That's another wonderful kick, clearance kick by the thing. Two Fijians at the back. Let's see what they're going to do. Oh, a big hit. Odyssey retain the ball. That looks like young Gutteridge uh, making a move, taking it forward. Recycled by Odyssey. Keeping the ball alive, Odyssey. Mafati again with the with the hands, retains it. Well, Odyssey playing a lot more fluently now. Great defence by RTA. I think that was a bit of offside. Oh, and a high tackle. So Odyssey take it quickly. Going strong. Great little run by Odyssey there. Aiden Craggs, I think that was. Good defense by RTA. However, the refs called them back for another penalty and I don't know what that's for. Oh, offside, there we go. So both sides starting to turn a bit of flair on. Oh, bit of a lazy kick by Odyssey. Knocked forward by RTA, scrum down Odyssey. So 
Error's starting to creep in. It is pretty energy sapping out there with the wind and the uh, heat now starting to build up. So what can Odyssey pull from here? Still 22 points to five in favor of RTA. And uh, we've played well over the 15 minutes for the second session of the first half. So this could be the last play. Oh, referees caught a free kick again. Odyssey pushing before the ball went in. And uh, yeah, half time. So whilst the uh, schools, uh, uh, whilst uh, the two sides recover, just to remind you, after this match, Hamilton boys will be taking on Odyssey 15. And uh, then we have uh, a big uh, Celtic clash, let's call it. We've got St Michael's from Ireland against Cardiff Vale and Wales from Wales. Um, and then we've got the big English clash uh, for the uh, school English schools championship, Sebra versus Mid Millfield. And then we've got the New Zealand powerhouse, Grey College against Trinity School, who've uh, had a 100% record uh, so far this season. So it's fantastic rugby ahead. Um, you can see the uh, fixtures and their timings on rugbypass.com. And you'll see a link there to uh, the World Schools Festival. So we look forward to the sides returning in uh, just over five minutes time.
And unfortunately, uh, um, uh, the wind uh, again making it very difficult to get a hold of the ball. And uh, knocked into touch by RTA to give the Odyssey uh, a line out about uh, five meters into their 22, into the RTA 22. So, what can Odyssey work from here? Referee just organising the distance of both players. Ball goes in. Taken by RTA. Knocked forward. Referee called ball not straight. And RTA's asked for a scrum. This is the challenge that uh, both sides are facing with this wind. It's uh, picked up again. It's about a, a 10 knot wind blowing from left to right as you look at the pitch from the stadium side. Look at the touch flags, they're blowing uh, pretty breezily. Uh, I'd say that's a definite push before the ball went in. <laughs> anyway, Odyssey take it quickly. Oh no, the ref's asked to bring it back to where his position was. Wasn't taken within uh, two, three metres. So the four is going to power it up. Here you go, Odyssey. Good little run. He's still going. He's still going. Held up by RTA. Great defence by RTA. And uh, they'll take a baseline kick out. Again, the wind's going to be a challenge for this one, so I expect the kicker's going to kick it low. Oh, what a great, great kick. Given the conditions. But it went straight out. So it's a scrum down. Good attacking position for Odyssey. So Sebra's Will Holmes is uh, the replacement scrum half, and uh, Louis Raiders moved out to ten. Quick ball. Oof. Oh! So, uh, fortunately, he took the tackle in the air. Didn't control the didn't control the tackle downwards. So it's a yellow card. RTA down to 14. Take a quick ball. Using their fours to smash up. Oh, another great tackle. Ball goes out. Try time. Odyssey fighting back. Score goes to 22 10.
so with uh, a yellow card um, it's 10% uh, of the playing time so the players off for six minutes and that's a successful conversion so 22 12 in favor of RTA RTA to restart. Good little kick. Ball is left to bounce by Odyssey. However, still retained. Odyssey looking to break out of the 22. A powerful run from the inside centre. Still going, still moving forward. Knocked forward by Odyssey, advantage RTA. Little kick forward, oh lovely hands, lovely hands. Oh shame. So kick forward and then off, oh, it's all happening out there. Kicked, uh, kicked on and then came off a RTA player for an Odyssey throw in on their 22. I think that's uh, Hamilton warming up in the background. Leroy from Fiji takes it forward and a great uh, jackaling by RTA earns them a penalty looking to go for a again this wind is really affecting the kicks and again it's a it's affecting the uh, collection on the uh, ball as well. So knocked on by Odyssey. Gives RTA a strong opportunity. Are they going to go blind again? Or are they going to go out wide to the right? Let's see. Referee chatting to both uh, front rows, asking them to uh, listen to his commands. Big scrum, it goes out wide. Oh, what a lovely move, and yes, he's in. <laughs> so, Textbook try off the uh, trading park for RTA. Takes them uh, to 29 uh, 12 with conversion to come. Sorry, 27 12 with version to come. Conversion unsuccessful, so the score remains at 27 points to RTA, 12 points to Odyssey. 
Still all to play for. Taken well by RTA and a good uh, tackle by Odyssey. Nicely recycled. Here comes the exit off uh, Hidden Odyssey hand. So Odyssey on the attack. Oh, he's broken through, has he? No, he's still he's still driving on. Oh, he's knocked it forward. So advantage uh, to RTA. So both scrums giving it what for here. Pressure on the uh, boring in by the looks of things the refs called it. Don't think Odyssey with 10 meters there. However, RTA putting on the power on the uh, far side. Good breakout, protecting the ball well. However, it's been ripped and the referee has called a penalty for not rolling away uh, in favor of RTA. So, what are they going to kick or are they going to run? They're going to kick. Good effort. Good effort. Into the 22 they go. Odyssey are going to have to put in a big D now. As RTA take control. line out however again the wind taking the uh, ball causing it not to go straight and it's a scrum down to Odyssey who more than likely might kick it from here to get advantage of the wind we'll see feeds to Louis Rader. They're running it. They're running it. Here they come. Great tackle and good defense of the ball. Good recycle. Wilhelm feeds again. Not a great ball. Louis Rader tidies up. And it's a penalty for holding on. Great jackling by RTA. And they're going to go for the posts to extend their score. Keep the scoreboard ticking over. Wise move. So Odyssey prepared to make a series of substitutions after this kick. Remember that they're going to be playing Hamilton uh, directly after this. And uh, they're going to be taking players from RTA as well. So it'll be a truly barbarian Odyssey. Oh, 
Oof. Unlucky. Again, water break. So the scores remain at 29 RTA to 12 points to Odyssey. And for those that are just joining, that are just joining a very warm welcome to the World Schools Festival if you're just uh, tuning in for the uh, cup um, quarterfinals so this uh, match being played at the moment is an, is an open uh, tournament and what we've got coming up next is Hamilton boys uh, from New Zealand versus Odyssey and then after that we've got an all Celtic affair with St Michael's from Ireland against Cardiff and Vale and then uh, we've got an all English affair uh, with uh, the top uh, rugby schools from Sepper and Millfield battling it out for the uh, English uh, Schools Championship title. And then we've got two powerhouses one, Grays College from South Africa and Trinity School from England, um, who haven't lost a game all season. So that should be, again, a very powerful uh, match to watch. Thank you for joining us. Again, it's a beautiful weather down here. It's uh, getting up into the late 20s, but this wind is, uh, whilst it's very refreshing for the spectators, it's causing havoc out there for the players. And uh, they're all really competing very well and dealing with it as best they can. It's great to see this young talent developing. Uh, and this f unique festival offers them a chance to showcase their skills. So here we go. Starting uh, the last session of this match, 15 minutes to go. It's a dropout. Well taken. Collected in by Jake Register, I think that is. Odyssey recycle quickly. Good powerful run by Odyssey. Gets across the game line, however. Great jackling again by uh, RTA, causing the turnover. Good hands. Here they come. Here they come. Knocked forward, the referee is playing advantage to RTA. Oh, a little bit of a crossing and obstruction there. However, we're coming back for the knock on. So RTA in a strong attacking position. Looks like they're loading their uh, the right hand side with their backs. Going to see uh, another textbook move off the park. Ball goes in, strong scrum. There they come. Again, knocked on by Odyssey in the miss pass. Scrum down on the uh, right hand side of the pitch now in favour of RTA. Big scrum. However, referee has called it for wheeling round. And uh, RTA now have uh, a penalty. They're running it. Keeps the ball, takes it into contact, and is jackled by Odyssey now. And Odyssey takes a quick ball. This player's on his own. Good intent. 
However, uh, the refs called him back to ask him to take it by the mark. And it's probably now the time to put a big, uh, big kick in for Odyssey to clear the decks and uh, get it out. There it goes. However, it hasn't made touch. Oh, he didn't take that one. That's a difficult catch for him. And uh, he's knocked it on, so Odyssey advantage creates a scrum about uh, five metres in on the RTA half. As uh, RTA make a couple of subs in their forwards pack. That's a good scrum. Oh, uh, saw the move, but the pass didn't go to hand. Good recovery by Odyssey and a lot of pressure by Odyssey. Are they going to... The ball's retained. Great defence by uh, RTA. Forcing the knock on, the pressure. So another scrum to RTA, well positioned in the middle of pitch, difficult to defend. Let's see what RTA are going to do. So RTA loading the left hand side. Oof. The referee said that went backwards. Pressure by Odyssey causing RTA to knock it on. So great defence from both sides. As I say, pretty difficult playing conditions with this wind. As RCA now look to close the match down. Odyssey needing two scores at least to secure the game. Will Holmes on the burst. Cleared out by Gutteridge. his foot and away they go Odyssey still going strong still going strong great great run and a great tackle eventually brings him down he's not making an effort to roll away referee says play on Elroy takes it in straightens everything up quick feed again Odyssey working the back line Still working and he scored a try. Has the referee allowed it? Yes, he has. So, Odyssey fighting back in the last moments of the game.
So this will take the score, if he's successful, to 19 points to 20, uh, 27, I think. Conversion unsuccessful. Odyssey moved to 17. RTA remain on 27. Got the name on it. Fatty with the ball. Strong run, strong tackle. Line out to Arte on. Uh, Odyssey's 10 metre line. Referee's called not straight on that one. Scrum down on the 15 metre mark to Odyssey. What can Odyssey work from here? As the Final minutes of the uh, second half come into play. I think this is safely RTA's game. Good scrum. It's a big kick. It's too far though. The intent was right. Time off for a twisted ankle, one looks things, for an Odyssey player. It looks like uh, Nico. That's Nico Timo Matatai. Uh, TLC from uh, the medical team here. Good to see him up, walking off. So, RTA with the put in. They've loaded the right hand side. Sure. Oh, great move. Great line run by RTA there. Good D by uh, Odyssey. Slowing the match down. Oh, lovely breakthrough again using the powerhouses of uh, their front row RTA to get across the game line. However, great jackling by Odyssey, who now look to break out in this final uh, minutes of this uh, game. Typical barbarian rugby coming now, and it's uh, gone the other way.
Gosh, it's like a game of ping pong on this Jack Link. Well done both sides. Looking to run the ball and really take uh, take it through the forwards. Clearance taking it to uh, just about the 10 meter line. So referee Arif calling the line. Here it comes. Good line out by uh, Odyssey. Ooh, good little kick through. Great pace by the 10 from RTA. Oh, wow. Big hit. Great hands by RTA, here they come again. Puts it out the back, collected, and it comes out the back again. Again, a lot of pressure from Odyssey. And it looks like he's won this ball. That's great pressure by Odyssey. Again, lots of jackling going on. Again, Odyssey. Retain the ball. Oh, great, great offload. Here come Odyssey. Last push, lovely out wide. Are they going to get in? Great defence by RTA. And they've won it back. So let's see what RTA can do from their 22. Some tired legs out there now. And the boys still going strong from both sides. This is great rugby. It's been won by Odyssey. Good, powerful run. I think he's lost the ball. Yeah, he knocked it forward. Scrum down. RTA. Got an injured player from Odyssey. By, is it Odyssey? Yeah, I think it is. Got two injured players from Odyssey. So more stoppage time. So coming up next, we've got uh, Hamilton and uh, the Odyssey side again. The coaches will quickly uh, take the players from both sides in this game to face up against the mighty uh, powerhouse from New Zealand, Hamilton Boys School. And then after that, we've got an all Celtic affair with uh, St. Michael's from Ireland and uh, Cardiff and Vale from Wales, both champions in their own rights for their uh, country competitions. And then we've got uh, the England schools final between uh, Sebra and Millfield. And then we round off today's proceedings in the cup quarterfinals with uh, Grays College versus Trinity, who have been able to retain a 100% record this year. So, player off the pitch, and uh, we'll continue to play. RTA with the ball, there's their put in. Good scrum. Here's the clearance kick. Oh, there's the game. So, great rugby all round.
great sportsmanship for both uh, sides congratulating each other so now we're going to have a slight
So welcome to the uh, second match. This is the first cup quarter-final. Um, for those that uh, are worried about player safety and that, and rightly so, um, the tournament's worked out uh, that uh, obviously the players can uh, play a maximum of 80 minutes in, in, uh, in the tournament. And uh, with the reserve rolling subs that are going on, uh, both sides are monitoring, uh, both RTA and uh, Odyssey have been uh, keeping a close eye on their players. Uh, so what's going to happen on this game is that uh, the Odyssey 15 are going to play the first half against Hamilton and then the RTA are going to play the second half against Hamilton. So here comes the Hamilton Hacker. passion from the Hamilton Boys School and now it's the Odyssey's go. Led by the Fijian contingent. So hackers all round and now we get down to business. It's Hamilton Boys School v Odyssey in the first cup quarter final. So Odyssey kicking off with the wind advantage. Playing from left to right. Hamilton to receive. And off we go. Big long kick, collected by Hamilton safely, and cleared out, just beyond the 22. Throw in to Odyssey. Again, the wind's still very strong, so it's going to affect the line-out calls. Well taken by uh, Odyssey. Big long pass. This is Louis Mayall from Itchwitz School. Takes it in. Lads, one strap in. Come down Recycled by Louis. Taken in by Elroy from Fiji. Good uh, ball retention. Oh, they've received. Broken the line. And here come Hamilton. Interception. 
Now they recycle. Good defence by Odyssey. Hamilton now gets it out to their back line. They broke the uh, game line again. Good defence by Odyssey, however, uh, Hamilton quickly into their moves. Good recycling, quick recycling. Ball slightly behind that player, but he recovered well. Good tackle by Louis Rayner, putting the pressure on, and again, Hamilton break through the line. Nice little dummy. Oh, here we go. Bit of fireworks in the back line, the wingers broken through, offloads, another quick offload, goes behind the player. So in, great defence by uh, Odyssey and enterprising play by Hamilton. This is typical schoolboy rugby, not much kicking, some lovely passing to and throw, and some great uh, recycling and defence from both sides. Line out intercepted by Hamilton, who win the ball. Oh, a nice little breakthrough from the prop. Here he comes. Great tackle. Ball quickly recycled by Hamilton. They got the overlap. And in they go for their first try. Well worked. As uh, referee Eamon Adib puts, puts his hands up for the first five points from Hamilton. Referee Adib is from Malaysia. Difficult kicking conditions, particularly that far out. So Hamilton leading five points to nil against the Odyssey 15. A Bavarian side made up of uh, Fijian, South African, UK players. All playing in their club shorts and club socks. Quick restart, taken nicely by Hamilton, driving up, looking to run it, already creating a lot of pressure on the uh, Odyssey defence, good recycling. Nice pattern play, Oof, here we go, lovely offload, puts it into the corner, good tackle, knocked forward. Great play by uh, Hamilton, but also great defence by Odyssey. And I think that was Gutteridge making that uh, try-saving tackle. Well done, him. So first uh, scrummage of the match.
So, Odyssey put in. Big scrum by Hamilton, one against the head. He's going to power over under the posts. score now goes on to 10-0 in favour of Hamilton. Conversion successful, 12-0 to Hamilton. see to restart. Off it goes to the right, left, sorry. Collected nicely by Hamilton, look uh, to recycle. Looking to run it out of their 22. Already putting some pace on the ball and they got the overlap. Good tackle by uh, Odyssey. Now running their set patterns as they take it in for their third try by the looks of things. Great kick. Hamilton extend their score now to 19-0 against a Odyssey side. So just to, to remind viewers, um, Odyssey's already played a match against RTA, so they'll play this half and then RTA will play uh, the second half against Hamilton. Oops, hoping the wind's going to take it, and it does, so off we go again. <laughs> Everybody adapting to these conditions pretty well. Nice offload from the tackle. Hamilton looking to keep the ball in motion. Referees say play on, came off the knee. Hamilton with the overload, putting pace on the ball. Great hands. Odyssey putting in a big resistance in the defence here. And great defence by uh, Odyssey, jackling the ball over.
Hamilton penalised for holding on. So, wind advantage to uh, Odyssey, looking to put it down, which they do. And it gets down to the uh, Hamilton 10 metre line. So line out to Odyssey from here. As you can see, the uh, linesman's flag. There's a good five to 10 knot wind, if not more here, which makes the uh, line out conditions uh, pretty challenging for the players, but also the passing, particularly over a long pass, as well as catching a high ball. So uh, lots of challenges for these young players to, to, to take on. But the quality of rugby is just brilliant. A good steal from Hamilton. Quick hands. Ball taken in. Recycled. Or well, they've already got an overlap there if they're using it. Which they seem to be. Good tackle. Again, Odyssey putting the pressure on in the tackle. Forcing uh, Hamilton to knock the ball on, scrum down to Odyssey, So penalty for boring in by lots of things. So uh, in the Hamilton squad, we've got uh, Akai Tuiviala, who's outside centre, and Kele's Paul Potuko, who's on the wing, both New Zealand under 18 internationals this year, which uh, um, has a uh, puts a strong uh, quality to the team. However, the referee's uh, just called offside by Hamilton. And uh, good old Barbarian Rugby, let's run it. So. Odyssey still yet to make its 10 metres from where, where great defence by uh, thing there's the oh great pressure how we're knocked on in the tackle Hamilton also have uh, Peyton Spencer um, who's the New Zealand under 18, but he's uh, being rested today. So I think this will be the uh, last play before we have a water break. So Hamilton's put in, what can they work from their uh, five meters in their own half? Big scrum. They got the break. They're going right. Putting in the dummy run up. Good defence by Odyssey. Still not, not across the game line. Good hands on the ball. Good line. Now he's across the game line and he retains that ball well in the breakdown. They're going down the blind side. A little inside pass. Allows. Hamilton to work the ball. Nice back pass. Knocks forward in the tackle. Now Odyssey look to break out. So
So the referee calls for a water break and there'll be a scrum after that water break from where the referee was. So a little bit more about Hamilton boys who lost the Super 8 for the first time in five years but uh, then did a brilliant recovery to win the uh, national championship. So that's fantastic for them. And as I say, the Odyssey boys will play their last 15 minutes of rugby today. Um, so there'll be a pretty much a big uh, change of the players. And then we move into the RTA, taking over the challenge of uh, the Hamilton uh, 15. Uh, and then coming up after this game, we've got the All Celtic Affair. We've got the Irish champions against the Welsh champions. And uh, both sides fielding future internationals. Um, and that should be an absolute cracker. So please stay tuned to watch that. Um, Nigel Hotham, who's the head coach, has a son Noah who, um, in Hamilton who was part of the first team in the 2020 who won the Super 8 and uh, just signed for the Crusaders. So uh, again, this World Schools Festival is a real fee feeder for professional and in international rugby. Uh, first set up in 2018 in Paul and uh, there the Paul School High Boys I think won the uh, competition. Oh, Team South Africa. S sorry, I've been corrected on that one. So we're looking to make this an annual affair. And uh, as I say, this is the first time the competition has been run since COVID. Uh, and running it in Thailand um, makes it uh, relatively easy for both Northern and Southern Hemisphere schools to come together. Um, Thailand being a very accommodating country. So we resume the second uh, half, or second session of the first half, sorry with a scrum to Odyssey. Hamilton showing a very powerful front five. Big scrum and uh, referee's got his arm out for uh, boring in. So Odyssey looking to get into the Hamilton half. Oops, a bit high got underneath that, but they're successfully into the Hamilton half. Just about two metres uh, in front of the Hamilton 10 metre line. Referee calls for not straight. It is a challenge for these players, but uh, I think if we're going to have a flowing game, perhaps the referee should uh, be a little bit more lenient on that. Let, let, let's play rugby. So, Hamilton put in. with a backline move set up. Look like, looks like they're going to bring their winger in for a dummy. Here he comes. Oh! Well worked move. Good defence by Odyssey, putting the pressure on uh, Hamilton.
So Odyssey look to play the ball. Good positioning by Hamilton. Odyssey retain it. All right, takes it in. Again, ball retained. Kick through by Odyssey. Collected by Hamilton's 15, who now looks to break out. Oh, he's tackled hard. Odyssey's over him. And referee's going to have him for not releasing. So a chance there for Odyssey. Well re retained and uh, defended by Hamilton. Gives them a chance to get back into the Odyssey half. Again, the wind not uh, looking to quieten down. So, yeah, there we go. It was uh, heading into the Odyssey half and got blown back. So, Hobbleton line out. That wasn't straight either. On comes a mass. Replacement by Hamilton. Looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players going off. Nine players coming on. Again, strong scrum, but it, uh, lots of pressure by Hamilton. Ball has been retained by Odyssey. Odyssey kick out. Well positioned, full back looks to now run it out of their 22. Pressure by Odyssey on the uh, Hamilton back line. Ball retained on the 22 taken back in so they can't kick out Hamilton looking to break out offloading in the tackle he's creating some speed on the ball and some width here they go and he's away and it looks like he's going to run it in great move by Hamilton running it from the 22 and uh, successfully scoring under the posts to nudge the score another five points Taking it up to 24 with a conversion to come. Odyssey yet to get on the scoreboard. We're not sure who uh, actually scored that from uh, Hamilton because he hasn't got a number on his back. So conversion successful. Taking it up to 26 nil to Hamilton against the Odyssey 15. And uh, just about the Odyssey 15, they, they actually got together uh, two days ago, flying in from Fiji, UK, South Africa. Um, some great talent in, in the side. Uh, they're, they're coached uh, by Vessel de Plessis who's the Bulls under 20 coach and Mark Mapletoft, the England under 18, 20 backs and attack coach. They've got a great team spirit. They've come together. Uh, so we've also got some Malaysian players in there and some local players from Thailand. So it really is a wonderful uh, team to be part of and it'll be running next year as well for those that are interested. Kick out. So the restart sees Hamilton taking again out of their 22. 
confident to run the ball back. Good recycling. Here they come again. Nice little turn in to keep the ball in play. Ball a bit hard, a bit fast there, causes the knock on. Referee calls them back. To where he wants the scrum. I've been told this wind is not going to relent, so uh, I think all the all the matches are going to have to manage it. Um, so Odyssey up quickly, creating the dog leg, or oh, that might have been forward, I think. Great intent by Hamilton. However, the ball going forward, and as I say, it's very difficult for the back line to uh, keep the ball accurately into passing the ball accurately into uh, the players' hands. So we take a half-time break, and so the uh, Odyssey players will say thank you to the Hamilton players, and uh, we'll now have the RTA team coming over. Uh, and again in Odyssey colours, as the score remains at 24-0. We'll take a break, and after this match we've got the, the Celtic competition. We've got St Michael's, the champions of Ireland, and we've got the... Uh, Wales, Cardiff and Vale, champions of Wales.
So, we now restart the second half uh, with uh, the Rugby Travel Academy in Odyssey Colours playing uh, Hamilton. So within the uh, Odyssey side, there's a mixture of RTA and Genuine Odyssey players who uh, didn't get much play time in the uh, first match. So everybody getting an equal chance to play uh, the New Zealand powerhouse, who currently 24-0. And they've got the wind advantage as well, and they catch it, and they're already up and going. So uh, Odyssey caught napping a bit. They're off the line hard. Good defence by Odyssey. However, Hamilton getting quickly across the game line. Little step from there, a little offload, and an oh, a lovely sublime try in the corner by Hamilton. Great rugby. As uh, Hamilton pick off where they uh, finished off on the first half, now takes the score to 29-0. Beautiful offload from the uh, number 10. So draws it in nicely, referee puts his arm up and the score goes up to 31-0 to Hamilton. So Odyssey to restart into the wind. So away we go, nice little kick, collected by Hamilton, we now take it forward, already up to the 10 metre line, look to recycle, goes to their uh, centre there, great power looking to drive through, Hamilton come over, nice little dink through to put the uh, speedsters into play too long though it's gone out there's quite a short uh, goal area here it's uh, just only five meters so it'll catch a lot of the players out particularly with this wind so a scrum where the kick was taken takes the play back to just uh, two meters uh, inside the Odyssey half Odyssey to put in so the first scrum New Zealand versus South African scrum. Predominantly uh, South African players in there. I think there's, I can see one, two, uh, two Odyssey players only. So uh, let's see how this scrum goes. Hamilton being pretty dominant in the scrum t so far in this game. So a quick feed required for Odyssey to get the ball out. Backs lined up, ready for their move. There's the feed. Again, big power from Hamilton, earning them the uh, penalty as the scrum collapses from the uh, 
Odyssey side. Great sportsmanship on both sides. Hamilton, I think, saying thank you very much to the uh, front row of Odyssey. And a good uh, nudge down takes them to... Oh, takes them to 10 metres inside. Odyssey's 22. So, what are Hamilton going to run from here? Nice line out, sets the drive. Now they got them all on. Odyssey finally slows it down, but the ref has got his arm out for a penalty. Advantage uh, Hamilton. Just trying to pick up what the call is for. Oh, it's coming in from the side by looks of things. So great uh, discipline and technique from uh, Hamilton, who are going for another line out. Hamilton player injured. So a bit of stoppage time. So Hamilton take the ball, nicely collected, set, set the drive, great structure. Oh, they're getting breaking free. Yep, in they go over the line. Set piece off the training paddock for uh, Hamilton by the looks of things. Odyssey couldn't contain the power that they created in that drive, and uh, unfortunately weren't defending the ABC channels allowing uh, Hamilton a relatively easy try from the back of the mall. So two more matches after this which are going to be real tasty affairs. We've got uh, St Michael's from Ireland versus Cardiff and the Vale from Wales. And then we've got uh, Grays versus Trinity College from, sorry, we've then got Millfield versus uh, Zebra for the uh, English Schools Championship. So that should be a cracker. And then we'll round off today's rugby with uh, South Africa versus uh, England. That's uh, South Africa represented by Grays and England represented by Trinity School, based in London. Conversion unsuccessful. Takes the score to 36-0 in favour of Hamilton. Interesting little kick, it's gone the 10 metres. Guttridge picks up uh, the Hamilton player, sets it. Good clear out by uh, Odyssey, however. The referee saying coming in from the side. So penalty kick, I'd imagine that's gonna be put down to uh, Odyssey 22 somewhere. Oh, no. Nope. It 
it's uh, about 10 meters in front of uh, the Odyssey 22. So about a 20 meter kick in all. Hamilton throw in. Nice throw in, knocked forward, however, by uh, Hamilton in the throw. Again, this win causing havoc in the line outs. The intent was there. Great reaction from the Hamilton uh, back rower who picked that one up. However, scrum to Odyssey. Ball in. Better scrum from Odyssey. However, Hamilton putting the pressure in. Ball is out. Kicked forward, collected. Hamilton putting real pressure on Odyssey's back line and forces the ball into play. Uh, sort of out of play. And so it's a Hamilton's throw in. What can they do from here in the 22 of Odyssey? Nice line out collected. Drop forward though, unfortunately. Again, this win is causing uh, even the short pass to uh, go awry. Oh, wow. Great, great hands by uh, the number nine there. Again, lots of pressure by Hamilton getting through the breakdowns. Good ball retention, however, by Odyssey as they look to get forced into, <laughs> into their uh, goal play. Kick forward, I think, not in not quite sure what happened there. there's too many bodies around the ball but I think it was kicked forward by an Odyssey player and it came off a Hamilton player who then put the ball down I think I'm not sure if it's going to be a try or not the forwards thinks it's a both sides thinks it's a scrum. It's been awarded a try. Yep, there we go. So, Hamilton extend their lead to 41. Points to nil. Conversion successful, and we take a water break. Hamilton in the lead by 43 points to nil against the Odyssey 15.
as the coaches uh, work out the next moves for the uh, final session of this match. Various subs being made at uh, the Odyssey side as shirts swapped between RTA and Odyssey players. So down in the Odyssey tent, they've got a little application there. That's, uh, I know, because I made it. Um, that's uh, clocking the players on and off the field. And works out how many minutes they've played. Which allows us to uh, ensure that the player welfare is maintained. And uh, the medical team here are exceptional paramedics. So we've got everything tied up there. And obviously, the various teams have brought out their own physios and medical teams. So, wow, Hamilton take it forward. Powerful run, and he's in already. Wow. Great line, great run from Hamilton's number eight. Literally a catch and pass, and he picked his gap and he ran through it with little or no tackling from uh, the Odyssey side. So... Uh, Hamilton now up to 48 very quickly after the start of the final session. Yeah, no, I'm taking this, I'll put my bag and then I'm coming back out. Successful conversion takes it to 53 nil. coming in from the dead ball area. So, Odyssey restart. Good kick out. Ball allowed to bounce. However, Hamilton then reset and off they go again. Powerful run again by uh, Hamilton, taking it... Uh, Out of the 22 and now across the 10 meter line, still passing, he's got the space, he's got the gap, he offloads. Hamilton's starting to run right a bit now. Oh, slight forward pass there though, causing them to uh, not complete the uh, try. Scrum to Odyssey and in their 22. So they're gonna have to work hard to get out of uh, this because uh, Hamilton have been very quick on the defense. Ball in. Better scrum from Odyssey, however, penalty has uh, gone to Odyssey as I think uh, Hamilton accused of uh, collapsing and uh, the scrum. Lots of advice from the touchline on what to do. I think they've finally seen sense and let's just clear the lines and uh, start with a set piece line out. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, yep, 
Seven players coming on for Hamilton, seven players going off. Looks like four forwards and uh, three backs. We'll play those players. All collectively successfully collected by uh, Odyssey at the back. Now they look to recycle. Good line, good run. Gets across the game line. Now they're better. Again, a good recycle. These long passes. He dummies, he takes it forward again. Hamilton strong in defence. Forcing back. Kicks forward. Bit of a nowhere kick. Puts pressure on the winger though. Hamilton. Hamilton uh, retain and drive forward, look to recycle. They got the overlap and they want to use it, relying on their forwards to break through the uh, Odyssey defence. Now they got the overlap. There it is. Good stepping. And he's in again. Another score. So. Hamilton going through the paces. Bit of a training session for them. Conversion successful. Making the score 53 nil to Hamilton. Restart by Odyssey, nice and high, causing the knock on. Nice little start that one. Well done. So, scrum down, five metres beyond uh, Hamilton's 10 metre line. Ball goes in. Big scrum again by Hamilton, forcing the ball back. They got one against the head. They've taken it, picked up by the flags. The referee's got his arm out for offside. Hamilton chip over the top. Wind's going to take it directly into touch. Oh, sorry, I think it was, yes, it is offside. Thank you, referee Adib. That kick takes it just beyond uh, Odyssey's 10 metre line, about two metres beyond. In front of the Hamilton, uh, sorry, the Odyssey bench. Nice uh, line out, ooh, bit of a hard uh, throw down, causes it to bounce and picked up very quickly by Odyssey, who now look to break out and take it forward. Great determination, great drive by Odyssey. However, the ball's been ripped by Hamilton. Now they recycle quickly, looking to put it, oh, bit of a loose pass that one. However, they quickly recover, nicely recovered out. 
There's the overlap again. They really are taking, exploiting that. Across the game line from where they started, believe it or not. And now they look to uh, recycle the ball quickly. Big, strong offload. And there's the uh, power coming in under the post for Hamilton. Taking score up to 58 unanswered points. So Hamilton laying down their marker for this World Schools Festival Cup competition. Conversion successful. And that's the end of the match. Well played both sides. Congratulations to Hamilton and congratulations to the Odyssey 15 who uh, play back-to-back -back matches there with um, all 46 players from the uh, Rugby Travel Academy and Odyssey taking part in uh, the Hamilton game. So everybody had a tremendous opportunity to play some quality rugby. Boys get together to say thank you.
Okay, so here we go for the Celtic showdown. St. Michael's versus Cardiff and Vale. And out come Cardiff and Vale. Simon Cragg is the referee. Uh, Simon Cragg's son was playing uh, in the Odyssey game earlier today. Both fixtures. So I beg your pardon, that's St. Michael's taking the field. Cardiff are just uh, due on. So both sides play a fast open game, so it should be some classic schoolboy rugby going on here. Both sides fielding uh, future stars of the game. No hackers involved on this uh, one. Players come straight out, take to the field and let's kick off and let's get some rugby on. So here come Cardiff and Vale. Speaking uh, with the coach uh, of Cardiff and Vale yesterday, they uh, have several Cardiff Blues play, um, Academy players in there and a couple of Welsh under 19 players as well. I don't know who they are, but this should be a cracker. So Simon Craig to start proceedings. And off we go. So knocked on by Cardiff Vale, collected by St. Michael's who looked to recycle. Holding on to it tightly, putting it through the hands, put the guys into the gap, centre finding his mark, taking it forward, recycling. Quick uh, inside pass again. Great tackle. However, referee. Craggs has uh, set offside by Cardiff Vale. So first penalty to St. Michael's. Puts it into the uh, St. Michael, um, Cardiff Vale's 22. About, uh, just under 10 metres in. Line out called, ball taken, however, not straight. Again, wind causing havoc for these uh, lads and their line out routine. So the first scrum of the match, as the packs size themselves up. It's uh, Cardiff and Vale's put in. Kind of playing with the wind in the first half. Big scrum. Holding it all. Carter fell. Stands strong. Good exit. Takes it up to uh, halfway between. Takes it up to the 10 meter line by the looks of things. So good exit. Gone long, picked up by uh, the seven from Cardiff Vale. Good tackle by St. Michael's. Ball recycled quickly. Going out to the locks to drive it forward from St. Michael's and uh, referee penalizes St. Michael's for not rolling away in the tackle. So uh, looks like St. Uh, Cardiff and Vale will use the wind advantage here and uh, gain some ground again. Josh, 
So, St. Michael's, round about uh, 10 metres from their 22, defending their 22 as Cardiff and Vale looks to put in. Again, ball not straight. Collected by St. Michael's, who quickly uh, retain and recycle. Going through the backs, there's a lovely gap. Picked up by the centre who was tackled and didn't release the ball. So the St. Michael's 13 causing some challenges already for uh, the Cardiff and Vale defence, picking some great running lines. Useful little clearance. Again, takes uh, Cardiff Vale to within 10 metres of the uh, St. Michael's line uh, 22 line Wynn taking the ball in St Michael's favour and their flanker drives it forward a great run cleared out by St Michael's who again look to step inside <laughs> taking it back to the protection of his forwards quick uh, Shallow pass, quick clear out. And I think St. Michael's picked up for uh, clearing out the player beyond the ruck. The linesman calls that on the 22 or just a metre beyond the 22. So St. Michael's with a greater percentage of uh, ball at the moment as Cardiff looks to build a, an attack from here. Good defence by St. Michael's and good structure by Cardiff. Oh, he's knocked it on, what a shame. Good pressure by St. Michael's causing the knock on. Greater territory in favour of Cardiff and Vale. Good scrum. Solid. Good offload. Inside pass. Guy runs a great line. Takes it across the game line. St. Michael's on the attack, putting pressure on Cardiff and Vale. Referee blows four and gives an extra 10 metres to St. Michael's for a bit of chirping by Cardiff. So, Cardiff and Vale's turn to defend its 22. And St. Michael lays up for a line out. Well taken, set up strong. Quick recycle. St. Michael's with the pressure on uh, Cardiff. L. Good defence by Car Cardiff. Great hit, drives him back. Ball still retained well by St. Michael's as they now start to get into the red zone. St. Michael getting across the game line, looking to a quick recycle. Ball went behind, it's collected again by 
St. Michael's, however, the referees judged it to be knocked on. So good defence by uh, Cardiff and Vale. Enterprising rugby from uh, St. Michael's. We've got a good competition here. Again, a big scrum picked up by their number eight, takes it forward across the game line, enabling Carter to get a good exit. Oh, it's knocked forward, he's picked it up. Looks like uh, St. Michael's piling on the pressure. Referee's exactly the right position. Calls for a penalty for Cardiff being offside. What's uh, St. Michael going to do? They're going to crash it in with their forwards. Quick recycle round the back. And it's a try to St. Michael's. So, conversion to come. Again, difficult in this wind. So, unsuccessful, draws it to the left of the posts. 5-0 to St. Michael. Ball just gets across the 10 metre line. Cardiff retain it. Should start to use their force to drive it forward. Retaining the ball well, putting it through the hands. Again, referee. Playing the advantage, I think, the referee for Cardiff. Great defence by St. Michael's. Cardiff not making much ground at the moment, trying to use its force to power through. This guy's got a drive on. He's across the game line now. Cardiff picking and driving, causing pressure on the uh, St. Michael's defence as the forwards start to take control. Now it goes out the back line. Referee is asking, do you want a penalty over there or do you want a penalty here? And they're going for the penalty here. I'm not sure what the penalty's for, we'll see in a minute. I think uh, killing the ball. So, Cardiff enter St. Michael's 22 for the first time. With a line out, what can they do from here?
Simple little line out. Ball taken in. Sucks in the defence. St. Marcus haven't quite fallen for it. There's a big line. Ball going out wide. He's got the gap. There's the winger. He's in. And a nice move off the training park by Cardiff. Great ball skills there. Lovely handling. Speed of pass. Puts the winger into the corner for Cardiff's first try of the game. This is quality rugby you're watching now. After this fixture, we've got the big English uh, game. Which is uh, Sebra versus Millfield. All England affair. So, currently five points all. Is this conversion going to be successful? It's a good effort. And it is. Wow, look at that for a kick. So, Cardiff take the lead. 7-5 against St. Michael's. And I think we're going to have our first water break. their try to take them seven points to five into the lead and St Michael's restarts just for those joining us St Michael's are playing from right to left um, into the wind Cardiff playing in black or is it dark blue can't uh, so hanging kickoff Ball collected safely by Cardiff. Out to a pot of the forwards. Forwards take it in, recycling. Taken back in. Again, slammed down by St. Michael's. Who are very quick off the mark, off the defensive line, causing pressure on the 10. Successfully obtaining a scrum on uh, the 20 two of uh, Cardiff and Vale Cardiff and Vale won the uh, Welsh Championship uh, last week in the last literally the last minute try in uh, extra time so Michael scrum hold steady back move coming up well across the game line. St. Michael's now getting into the red zone. Using their forwards to drive the ball forward. Quick recycling. 
Cardiff putting on the pressure. Keeping the defence up. St. Michael still driving forward. Again, pressure on. However, referee is called, I think, for offside. So is St. Michael's going to kick or are they... Uh, they're going to go for a kick, which would take them one point into lead at 8-7, if successful. Quality play from both sides makes this an incredibly close game. So St. Michael's to take the lead with this penalty, which they do successfully. So, 8-5 to St. Michael's and uh, Cardiff putting two uh, subs on. Again, just to remind everybody just joining, we're playing uh, half half hour games, uh, half hour halves, uh, which are split down into two 15 minute sessions with uh, a water break. Collected nicely by St. Michael's. Set the platform just outside, inside their 20, uh, 10 metre line. Retaining the ball well by the looks of things. However, penalty for Cardiff. Great jackling forces uh, St. Michael's to hold on to the ball. And Cardiff going for the posts which will make it 10-8. If the conversion is successful. Again, the wind has really picked up here. I think we're uh, looking at 10 to 15 knots, look at those palm trees in the far distance. Had it on good authority, it's not going to uh, relent at all. So, uh, whoever's playing left to right has the advantage. Conversion is unsuccessful, so be a 22 dropout for uh, St. Michael's. Collected by Cardiff, who bulldozed their way through the defence. Great tackle. Again, St Michael's putting up a great defensive line. Cardiff now looking to swing it wide. Taken in by Cardiff, resets the platform for the Fords to then take the drive in. Again, great defence by St Michael's, preventing Cardiff to get across the game line. Great hands. Now we're across the game line for Cardiff as uh, St. Michael's look to keep the pressure on. Cardiff uh, retaining the ball well. Touch of offside from, uh, I think, from uh, St. Michael's there, not behind the back foot. And the referee has. Called a scrum down. Let's say uh, referee Craggs is from New Zealand. He's a principal at a school there. And 
and his son was uh, playing in the Odyssey fixtures earlier today. So, scrum down, just a uh, couple of metres inside uh, Cardiff's half. Cardiff put him. Pretty equal scrums at the moment, although here we go. So, Michaels have got a nudge on. Cardiff going to the right, takes it in. The winger drives forward and retains the ball. However, foot in touch. St. Michael's utilising the 16th man. They've gone quickly, keeping Cardiff napping. Big long pass, Win almost took it behind the player. Good driving by St. Michael's, and Cardiff have uh, won it. Again, number five from uh, Cardiff, Mel, making great ground. High tackle, I think the ref has picked up there. There's the overlap, the winger's now free, he's going strong, throws the ball back. Referee's calling them back, no advantage. High tackle by St. Michael's. Allows Cardiff to take control of the game on the halfway line. So, nice little nudge, takes uh, Cardiff to within a couple of metres of uh, St. Michael's 22. And again, line-outs are uh, proving to be a treacherous affair for either side as the ball uh, is influenced by the wind. And when you think it's going straight, it's not. And the referees are picking out. So that's a great line out. However, the ball went too fast. Attention all hands. Picked up by Cardiff. Great line by the number eight who breaks the game line. Flat pass into the Welsh prop. Big long pass out to the wing. Cardiff retaining the ball well, St Michael's defending well, it's a real close game this, quality game, looks for the gap, drives forward, big hits going in and great driving as well from both uh, sides, this is quality games. Finally he goes down, <laughs> got an injured player with uh, Cardiff. in quite bad shape. Cardiff Physio's out. Referee finally calls a halt to proceedings whilst we do with the injured player. So, injured player back up and going. Physio's done her job, well done. Referee 
is going to restart with a scrum for Cardiff on St Michael's 10 metres. And we've got um, a worldwide audience of uh, coming in on this, watching the World Schools Festival of almost 3,000 uh, people have uh, tuned in to watch this uh, wonderful festival of rugby. The future rugby talent has been on display here from the northern and southern hemispheres. Currently we're in the northern hemisphere with uh, Cardiff Vale, great hit, great ball retention as well as Cardiff keep the ball alive with using their forwards to punch a hole into St Michael's back line. Still going strong, St Michael's tremendous defence. And again, St. Michael's successfully using the touchline, preventing uh, Cardiff to get any further forward. Great line out by St. Michael's. <laughs> However, the drive by uh, Cardiff is causing them to go backwards. Now they regroup and now they get a now they get a shift on. I think the referee's called once, can't really hear him from here. The number ten looks, pauses, decides to step, and then gets taken down. Now they break out. St. Michael's using the offload to successfully break the line. Again, retaining the ball. Looks like Cardiff's won it back. Great play by Cardiff. Now they use the wind to kick forward, going for the 22. 50 22, is he successful? Not quite. And a good clearance kick by uh, St. Michael's. Protects uh, their try line. So a real to and throw game with uh, St Michael's just keeping ahead by a point at the moment. So ball taken in by S by Cardiff and retained. Carter still driving forward. Made a good 10 metres from this line out. Now they have, now they give. Oh, a great line, great tackle. Cardiff's now recycling it out to the wing. Little chip forward, big tackle again. He's called the mark. And there's the water break. It was in fact half time. So after this match, it's the big one for all, uh, all you England fans. We've got the top two rugby schools in England battling it out for the school championship cup. Uh, Sebra versus Millfield. And we see Sebra out to our left warming up behind the dead ball area.
two. The two teams take to the field again. St. Michael's uh, playing left to right. Cardiff Vale now playing into the wind. Uh, with St. Michael's with a uh, one point advantage. So all to play for in this incredibly close game. Lots of skill, lots of talent being shown. Cardiff raring to go. As referee cracks. Restarts the game. Nice little kick. Good drive by St. Michael's. And again, great tackling by uh, Cardiff. Cardiff using that technique of one going low, one going over. There's the kick. I think we'll see a lot of this. And it's gone straight out. So, advantage uh, Cardiff at the start. Again, if you look at that linesman's flag, you can see how uh, strong the wind is down uh, on, on the pitch. Where we are in the stand up here, about halfway up the stand, we're feeling it as well. So, gosh, that's what it's like down the pitch. So, the ball goes out again. A ball is high, taken by St. Michael's. Nice drive forward, nice clear out as well. Now, St. Michael's start to pass it wide, putting it in through the hands of the backs. And now they got the overlap again. Good tackle and a great defense by Cardiff as the linesman has his flag up. The referee has called a penalty, I think, for a high tackle. Calls time for uh, St. Michael's player to get some treatment. So, uh, a little bit of background whilst we wait on Cardiff and Vale. I was speaking to uh, their vice principal yesterday, Kevin, um, and he gave me some sort of history around around the uh, college, which has been in situ for uh, over 20 years and is a, is a great feeder to the Cardiff Blues. And it provides um, its students, which you see on the pitch today, a vocational training in all sorts of uh, skills and uh, qualifications and it's important that uh, these players whilst they can showcase their talents also build up a, a capability that they can take into business after their rugby career so the penalty taken St Michael's now uh, with a great opportunity on uh, Cardiff five meter line. Pressure on Cardiff to defend. Nicely taken. Cardiff, great push off the thing and then St. Michael smuddled it. Now starts here, they're forced to drive through, making ground and uh, great defense by Cardiff, causing St. Michael's to hold on to the ball and allow uh, Cardiff to clear the lines. I think in this wind, any kick's gonna do when you're playing against the wind. So Cardiff throwing, nice uh, line out. 
Taken to the 10, takes it in. Ball quickly recycled. Referee has called, I think it's a knock on. Or is it a penalty? Penalty. St. Michael's player. So time off whilst we deal with that. Again. And it's a uh, Cardiff ball, not a penalty. So Cardiff trying to break out of their 22. There's some pretty robust defence from uh, and pressure from St Michael's. Again, a big scrum from St Michael's, though Cardiff hold. Ball goes wide, 10 clears, wind drifts it inside, picked up by the St. Michael's 15 who starts to put some pace on the ball, spreads it wide <laughs> and again that's the challenge with the wind, great pass but it just went up two metres forward from where he left his hands going back, just shows the challenges these players are having to operate in and yet they're still producing some quality rugby, it's great stuff. Cardiff, solid scrum from Cardiff, creates the platform, now comes the moves, off goes the winger, steps inside, great acceleration, covered well by St Michaels, forwards take it in again, Cardiff recycling the ball, taken in by the front row, Booker retains the ball, Quickly recycled. Good play by St. Michael's. Ripping the ball. Now Cardiff on the defence. And it's a penalty to St. Michael's. But Cardiff not rolling away. What are they going to do here? They look to extend their score or kick for touch. Placement being made by St. Michael's. And uh, looks like St. Michael's is going to go for the kick to extend their score by. Th Four points if successful. So, K 
kick is successful. St. Michael's take a four point lead. Score now. 11 points to seven in favor of St. Michael's. This being the first session of the second half. Long uh, kick, good kick as well. There's the response, nicely taken. Puts it up, hangs there, good chase. There's the pressure, oh, what a catch and what a take. That's a tremendous play. Cardiff, recycle. Little chip forward, now the winger's got the pace. Oh, unlucky. Nicely collected in by St. Michael's. We now look to compose, with a bit of composure, take it out of their uh, 22. Again, big kick. Little chip, little nudge, takes it nicely into uh, St. Michael's 22. Hopefully, a little replacement coming on by the looks of things for Cardiff in their uh, front row. Great line out by St. Michael's, retains the ball, looks to drive it out, set a big clearance up. Big pressure from Cardiff, however the referees called it back. He's called a penalty for Cardiff being offside. Big clearance kick. Using the wind, great advantage. Takes St. Michael's into Cardiff's half, about a metre and two metres uh, from their 10 metre line. Good line out. Quick ball. And the referee is called for crossing from St. Michael's and it invited to move, but it didn't quite come off. So Cardiff back in control of the game. We'll look to make some ground with this kick. So Cardiff on St. Michael's 10 metre line. What are they going to do from here? Shot the line out. Not straight. Called by the referee. Big scrum by St. Michael's, holds the pressure. Ball now goes out. Oh, there's a lovely bit of play, putting the plans to get offloaded, but it went forward. Great play by St. Michael's. And uh, indeed, as good to defense by uh, Cardiff. So again, scrum down. Going from one 10 meter line to the next.
good scrum by Cardiff, keeps the ball alive. Ball goes back, collected by their 15 steps. Takes it into contact. Cardiff protect that. A little nudge across, collected nicely by St Michael's 15. And the 10 probes it down, he might have put that a bit too long. No, it's held up, it's gone over the line. So both packs having to work hard in this match. It's that close. With Michaels just having the edge. Solid scrum again by Cardiff. Taken in. Cardiff recycle. LT advantage to Cardiff for St Michael's not rolling. Got on the wrong side of the tackle there and got uh, hemmed in with the uh, Cardiff uh, forwards securing the ball in the breakdown. Injured Cardiff player being looked after. And I think the refs called a water break on that call. So we move into the final session with uh, St. Michael's leading Cardiff. 11 points to seven.
Big scrum, solid scrum. Now it goes out to the St. Michael's backs who he knocks it forward. Again, this wind is causing havoc for the players as that uh, was going directly into his hands and the wind just pushed it forward a couple of feet. So uh, he just uh, couldn't cope with that. So Cardiff ball just inside St. Michael's half. What are they going to do from here? They're either scrum half puts some distance on the ball. Oh, he, no, it's no, the sorry, the refs called it back for a penalty. Boring in on the scrum. So Cardiff with a chance to. Uh, Put in to St. Michael's 22 for a line out, most probably. Not quite. <laughs> Commentator's curse. I think the uh, linesman's been very generous there. So as we warm up for the uh, big English final, we've, we've gone over 3,000 viewers, which is tremendous. Cardiff takes the ball in, starts to try and get a momentum on the uh, mall. Great D by uh, St. Michael's. I think the ref has most probably caught it once already. And uh, there we go. St. Michael's Nate make another uh, substitution. 
scrum called by St Michael's. Running down the clock now. Not that many minutes left. kick covered by the fullback nicely where's Cardiff going to go from here spins it wide bit of a hospital pass Cardiff regain composure starts the long path up to uh, St Michael's try line and driven back however the referee says not releasing Cardiff penalty Cardiff look to make some ground with this kick, although the conditions are very challenging. That is a great kick if it goes. And it goes. What a great kick that is. So... With only a few minutes left, can Cardiff create some magic that's going to win them the game from this uh, move in uh, just inside the 22 of uh, St. Michael's? The line-out is successful. They got them all on. Got some momentum there. Still going forwards. Still going forwards. They've got a real rumble on. Here you go, Cardiff. And they score, they pull it back. Wow, what a what a line out and what a maul. Well deserved from Cardiff. They take a one point lead. Twelve points to eleven at the moment with the conversion to come. So five minutes to go and Cardiff takes a lead. In this last session of the second half, this is a big kick. Unfortunately, the wind uh, and the direction there made the kick unsuccessful. So Cardiff lead by one point, all to play for in this last five minutes of this thrilling match with two sides very evenly matched. So Cardiff receive and kick. Creating a line out for St Michael's, virtually on the halfway. So, uh, again, look at that uh, linesman's flag. It really is a lot of pressure on the th on the thrower to get this line straight. Referee asking uh, Cardiff to retire a metre or so to get the gap. That's a good throw, however, it's gone in favour of Cardiff. Refereeing calling not straight. St Michael's asking what about the uh, penalty, but the offence, I think he's going... There's no advantage in favour of Cardiff. Uh, 
players starting to cramp up in uh, this heat and wind. It uh, does cause the players to dehydrate somewhat. But uh, the wind has actually been very kind to the players. It was blisteringly hot yesterday during training for all the players. So the natural AC of the weather has uh, cooled us all down a bit. So on the halfway line, Cardiff with the put in. They're strong, their scrums hold strong. The number eight picks up, going down the blind side. There's the winger, is he away? Great tackle by St. Michael's. Ball retained well by Cardiff, who now start to put the pressure on as they reach the 22. And it's a penalty for a high tackle. It's starting to go Cardiff's way in these last couple of uh, minutes. However, there's some injured bodies there. What's Cardiff going to do? Time off, says the referee. He's going to go for the posts. to go the kick goes wide St Michael's need to uh, surprise they um, so they kick out short hoping to retain the ball Cardiff hold it in now take it forward Cardiff retaining the ball well looking to Keep the drive on, keep the pressure on. Clear the lines. And the referee blows up and it's a Cardiff victory. What a tremendous game of rugby that was from both sides. Congratulations for a well-fought game. Honours going to Cardiff on this occasion. with a 12-11 victory. Hardlet, St. Michael's, both played sublime rugby and toughed it out. So now we go for the Big England game. Sebra versus Millfield. So, traditional rugby. Sebra takes the field for this big game. And out come Millfield.
two. As the Celtic sides leave the field of play, the English sides come on for the big championship game. Millfield Ville Sedbra with Desmond Van Vick taking the uh, honours of refereeing this game. So in the league standings, they're within a point of each other. I gather Millfield is at the top of the table. So this is going to be an absolute cracker. We've got parents uh, down in front of us who've uh, flown in to watch their uh, boys play. I think we've got some old uh, school alumni here as well. So it's going to be a fantastic uh, match. The referee calls the players. So, Millfield's kick off, playing left to right. Sebra to receive. Millfield with the wind advantage for the first half. So, 30 minutes of rugby with a water stop at 15 minutes. Referee Desmond starts the game. Sebra take in, look to uh, run it out. Big hit by Millfield in front of the posts. Sebra now have to work hard to uh, exit the red zone. And there's the exit. And it's a good exit indeed. So line out to Millfield. About three metres forward of Zebra's uh, 10 metre line. Good line out. Millfield looked to spin the ball wide, drawing the players. Tackled. Good recycling by Millfield. And then number seven takes it in. Cleared out, but uh, going off his feet by Millfield allows Sebra some breathing space to clear their lines. March towards uh, Millfield's goal line. Sebra call a four man line out. Nice line out by Sebra. Looking to run the ball out of their 22. Here they go. Good tap tackle from Millfield. So Millfield was slightly offside on that one. However, ball retained by Sebra. Again, the wind causing havoc with the back line. The long pass is now Sebra with the advantage. Offloaded in the pass. Sets the winger free, steps inside. Still going strong, good tackle. Sebra retaining the ball well. Oh, nice play. Here we go, this is what we're looking at. Again, great uh, passing by Sebra, sharp hands. Oh, he's knocked it forward, Curse, sorry. 
commentator's curse for Millfield. However, referee has uh, picked up Millfield being off offside. So, Sebra ease their way into uh, Millfield's 22. Zebra's line out. Oh, disrupted by Millfield. Millfield look to clear the lines now. Big kick down, there it comes. Not in touch. Yes, the linesman says in touch. And it's still Zebra's ball. Great clearance by Millfield, using the wind to their advantage. So, line out successful by Millfield. Scrum half sucked in by the back row of Sebra. Good ball retention by Millfield. Now they look to drive forward with their forwards. Quick recycle. Again, great tackling by Sebra. Still the ball, a little chip across. Sebra full back ready. Sebra retaining the ball just in front of their 22, uh, 10 metre line, sorry. The 10 kicks, it's hanging. It's picked up by Millfield. Again, tackled. So, Sebra start their route to Millfield's 22. About 10 metres out from Millfield's 22 with that penalty kick. Again, short line out by Sebra. Quick ball. Zipped out. Oh, there's a lovely move by Sebra putting the pressure on. There's the winger. Is he going to go in? Oh, great cover tackle by Millfield. Sebra now with the momentum. Good defence by Millfield. Recycling the ball nicely by Sebra. Oh, he's intercepted it and he's away. And that's going to be first blood to Millfield with an intercept pass. Against the run of play. So, Milford with the conversion. Oh, it's charged down successfully by Sebra. So, just five points to nil in favour of Millfield. Well done, Sebra, for charging that down.
So the kickoff doesn't go 10, goes straight out. So scrum on the halfway line for Millfield to start their attack towards the Sebra try line. These two schools are main feeders for uh, the England's uh, under 18 squad. Sebra in the north, Millfield in the south of England. So we're now up to 4,000 viewers watching uh, this broadcast, which is fantastic from all over the world. Congratulations and thank you for tuning in. So Millfield uh, leading by five points after an interception. Big scrum by Millfield. Lots of pressure on both sides. Millfield have it. Look to chip it through. Good play by Sebra's 11, retaining that ball and just getting that extra time for his fours to get back and protect it. Now the fours look to uh, set a platform for a smooth exit. Scrum half looking to kick throws today for all the. It's a knock. So Millfield start their route to the Sebra try line, retain the ball well, putting pressure on the blind side. Now they come to the right, using their powerful forwards to drive them forward. Ball's not forward. Advantage to Sebra at the moment. For quick penalty by Sebra. Sebra with the driving forward offload there. Now the try. Opportunity coming on the wing. Great defence by Millfield. As Sebra now look to release. Great tackle again. Both sides really putting it on. Sebra now stepping inside. Cleared out successfully. Yes, the referee has uh, not releasing the t in the tackle. Referee calls time off whilst... Uh, a Millfield player is attended to. So, similarly to the uh, St. Michael's and Cardiff Vale match, two very evenly matched sides with some amazing talent playing a fast open game. Sure, if ref has uh, called this a water break.
So that's enough water, two minutes are up. Seconds out, second session of the first half about to begin. And it's a penalty to Sebra. It looks like they're going to kick for the corner. Sebra going over and uh, being offside by looks things. Clearance to the five, to Millfield's five metre line. What can Sebra do from here? Been some terrific defence from both sides. Some big tackles going in. Sebra's line out, successful. They set. Good maul by Millfield. Although the referee's got his arm out for a penalty, playing the advantage at the moment. I think he was handling the uh, line out guy. I can't see from here what the signal was. So the referee being particular about taking it from the mark. Zebra, kick again. Trying to catch Millfield unawares. Quick recycle. Isn't that? Sebra on the Millfield's line. Millfield desperately defending. Ball zips out. Stepped inside. Sebra still going, keeping the ball. Great defence by Millfield. And there's the penalty to Millfield. We're not releasing by the looks of things. I'm not releasing the ball. So, Millfield's still in there, 22. Five points only in the game from an intercept. Actually, about where they were. So, Millfield throw in. Great steal by Sebra. Now the advantage is with them. What are they going to do from here? Running it in hard with their number eight, who's made some powerful runs. Big tackle. Ball zipped out by their Sebra number nine. Great defence by Millfield. Great ball retention by Sebra. Look to go the blind side. Millfield defence really standing up. Good, good drive by Sebra. Ball zipped out. Are they going to go in? Oh, he's knocked it forward. Shame. Great pressure. The referees called it back. Offside. Guilty player pointed out. What's uh, Sebra going to do from here? A replacement uh, coming on. For Millfield. Safety precautions. Uh, looks a little bit of uh, concussion there. Being well looked after by his uh, physio team. So, Zebra, restart. Tap and go. He's there with Andy. Putting it through. Th oh, wow, what a big hit that was. Sebra though, still marching forward. Millfield holding their line. Sebra taking the ball quickly. Penalty for 
handling kicking in the ruck, so they're not a lot allowed to do. And uh, Sebra deciding to go for a line out on the far side. So Sebra having the ma majority of the territory and uh, the ball in this uh, first half. Trail by five points to nil. Again, their line out very strong. Retaining that ball, it's at the back there, it's still ball going forward. Now they got the rumble on. Great defence by Millfield, however, they're successful. Sebra drives the ball over from that line out. Five points all. So, unsuccessful conversion, five points all in this enthralling match for the English Schools Championship. Millfield restart taken in by Sebra. Nice little move. Takes it up to uh, within a metre of his 22. Sebra looked to protect the ball. As the scrum half looks to clear, just two minutes left in this first half. Sorry, ten minutes left in this first half. And the referee calls a penalty for Millfield holding on to the ball in the uh, and not releasing. In the breakdown. And a good kick takes them up to Millfield's 10 metre line. So, Sebra about to make some uh, replacements. Looks like. Uh, Front row replacements. Again, a strong line out from Sebra. Quick ball, puts their number eight. Their go to man, taken care of by Millfield this time. Putting it into the back back move again the ball protected well by Sebra no oh, I think uh, oh my lord that's going to be crossing a little bit too obvious nice intent there and again Millfield up very quickly to try and close them down all got a bit too complicated So, Millfield from the halfway line. Perhaps not using the wind as they could have. Puts the ball within about uh, five metres, six metres of the 
Zebra 22. Shortened line out, five players in. Disrupted and Zebra come away with it. Big drive by the forwards. And again, a quick recycle. Zebra on the march. Great hand skills. And great defence by Millfield using their 16th player, which is the touchline. However, the ref is bringing them back to... Didn't quite see the hind signal there. I think it might have been a high tackle. Oh, offside. Sorry, to beg your pardon. Offside by uh, Millfield. So Zebra. Enter Millfield territory. Not for the first time in this first half. Literally uh, halfway between the 10 metre and 22 line of Zebra. Zebra line out, not so clean as before, but well tidied up. And the ball retained. Crisp handling by Zebra. Putting uh, Millfield under pressure in the back line, but again, their defence holds strong. Tackled. A little nudge by the scrum half. Again, the wind holds it up. Chip forward. Again, well collected by the scrum half, who did very well under that pressure. However, Millfield's stolen it. Looking now to drive forward, big tackle. Still keeping the ball in hand, that's stuck forward. However, the referee is called back uh, for a penalty in favour of Millfield with Zebra not rolling away. Uh, five points all, are they going to look to uh, take a penalty kick or are they going to go for the corner? It looks like they're going to go for the corner. With just uh, four minutes in hand. Now I've got four thousand one hundred viewers watching this game online. Chilly uh, start in UK, no doubt, as we enjoy some fabulous weather here in Thailand. Ball goes long, who gets it? Zebra. Going off their feet. Zebra now taking a penalty, which is a kickable one for uh, Millfield and they are going to go for the posts. A wise decision as we're uh, into the last couple of minutes of this half. So, penalty successful, 8-5 to Millfield.
Good clearance kick by Millfield, collected by Sebra's fullback. Winger coming round. Oof. Again, this wind uh, causing havoc with some of the passing, but the hands are good for Sebra as they look to recycle on their 10 metre line. Forwards taking it up. 10 now does the job. Number eight, forcing his way forward, lays it back nicely. Great hit. But Sebra retained the ball, but are going backwards. Whoa! It's a fair tackle. Control the uh, player down to the ground in a fairly vigorous way. And it's a penalty for holding on and retaining the ball in the tackle and the breakdown. So great defence by Sebra. Stops the Millfield attack this time. kick made as we uh, come to the end of the first half. With uh, Millfield leading eight points to five. Disrupted line out gives Millfield the ball. As they aim to take the advantage here. Good dummy from the thing. Ball intercepted, picked up, foot in touch. So uh, it's all happening down here on the blind, blind side, and that will be half time. Great first half from these two as they battle it out for the England Schools Championship. Just a score in it. Look at our fucking D, they're going nowhere. Thank you. 
So, Zebra take the field with a score behind. Looking to seal this championship match. Millfield come out. So, 30 minutes to decide who's going to be England's championship school. Referee Desmond checks his watch. Checks everybody's okay. So off we go for the final 30 minutes of this enthralling game. Millfield take. Good drive. Oh, it's a little blind win. Here goes the winger. He's off. He's pacey. Looking for support. Who's there? Great run up to the 22. Good clear out. And uh, his winger scrags him, holds the ball, jackals well, and gets the penalty. Lovely run from the Millfield winger. Oof, that hasn't gone out. Yes, it has. Wow, the wind took it. Zebra looks, seem to be playing the wind better this half. That's a huge kick if you think about it. Oh, 
from 22 to the 10 meter in the opposition's half. Several line out. Millfield complaining about the line out of Sebra. Taken well by uh, Sebra. Recycled nicely, putting the winner into some space. Steps and goes inside, lovely offload, keeping the momentum going. However, referees called a forward pass. Millfield scrum. Just about a metre inside uh, Millfield, ter Millfield Territory. Millfield looking like they're going to commit to this side with their winger coming in on a couple of dummy runs. Sebra lined up, big scrum by Sebra. There's the run. Millfield making ground. Well read, well tackled. Disruption caused. Good collecting by uh, Millfield, who retained the ball well. A little nudge down the line. Collected by Sebra. That might go too far if he's not careful. Collected in by Sebra. Good tackling by Sebra. Driving forward by Millfield, however. Still retain the ball. Little chip through the back line. That worked. Now he kicks on. Oh, yeah. Stepped by and stepped again. He's off his feet. Taken back in. Big kick down and it goes straight out. Millfield celebrating. Placements made by Sebra. <laughs> Milford with a drive, Sebra holding it up. That's a penalty to Sebra. Uh, sorry, to Millfield. Advantage Millfield by looks of things. the penalty coming now. Little darting run from the scrum half on his own a bit but he manages to present the ball back for Millfield to breathe. No he doesn't. Millfield with hands on ball and a bit of back chat from Millfield doesn't help them any any further. So, line out, about two metres in 
Sebra's half from the halfway line. Clean ball. Sebra looking to release their backs. Good drive forward by Sebra. Good defence by Millfield. Sebra using its forwards to power through the one channel. Well, a bit of a high kick got underneath that. Now, what can Millfield do from here? Some big hits going in from both sides here. It's great rugby to watch. Millfield on the on the break, spinning out of the tackles, recycling well. Still with the ball, still with the ball. Now they've got space. What are they going to do here? They're going to release. Uh, he's brought down nicely, cleared off the ball. Good dummy from the flanker. Referee calls for a penalty. I'm not sure where he's going to. Penalty for a high tackle by Sebra on Millfield. So, Millfield on Sebra's 22 with a throw in. Throw in. Not sure that was straight. As the famous Nigel Owens once said, I'm straighter than that. So, scrum down. Sebra on their 22. 8-5 to Millfield in this incredibly close match for the Indian Schools Championship trophy. Big scrum by Millfield, puts the pressure on. However, Sebra retain. There's the ball, zip, passing. They're certainly breaking out here. Here they come. And he went a foot in touch. So great distance made by Sebra, but uh, good cover defence by Millfield using the 16th man, the line, touch line, to uh, force Sebra into touch and uh, enjoy a line out. So, again, the wind causing havoc. Sebra retained the ball, put it wide. Dummy by the, oh, nice little offload. Big drive forward from the forwards here. Sebra keeping the ball in hand. Milford lying a bit offline, offside. Oh, here we go. Great little run from uh, what I think is a prop. However, not releasing the ball in the tackle. So, 
lines cleared. We've run about five minutes of this first session of the second half le left to go. Nice line out from uh, Millfield. Releases their forwards in the centre to punch a hole through Sebra's defence, but Sebra holds up strong. Now they look to come out to the left, a little loop pass. Missed pass there. Seb Sebra defending well, but Millfield with the momentum at the moment. Oh, a little chip through, he's through. Great tap tackle from Millfield. Oh, it's from Sebra, sorry, causing Millfield to knock the ball on. It is so evenly balanced, this uh, match. Either side being able to create some uh, great breaks, some great runs, wonderful handling. Congratulations to the coaches in producing such uh, two quality sides. So, Sebra with the put in. Midway between their 22 and 10 metre line. What can they do from here? Scrum holds strong. Number eight picks up. Penalty. I'm not sure what for. I didn't check the arm of the referee. I think it's boring him. Big nudge to within a metre of uh, Millfield's 10 metre line. And the referee's called for a water break. Of which I will enjoy myself. And the audience has now risen to 4.7 thousand, which is great. So we move into this final session of this uh, enthralling match. So if this by chance does come out as a draw, the team with the most tries wins. And if there are equal tries, then it's the team who scored the first try wins. So that would be Millfield in this case, if that scenario actually came reality. But it's, uh, as I say, a fascinating uh, match. 15 minutes to go to decide the England champions. Now up to 4,800 viewers. And we see Greys off to our right, warming up. Ready to play Trinity. So, here we go, the last 15 minutes. Substitutions looks like they've been made. And it's a line out to Sebra. Taken by Sebra. The number five has been dominant in that line out. And now Sebra gets a nudge on. Great, great maul by Sebra. Really taking it 10 meters forward. Still going forwards. Now 20, 25 meters. This is tremendous play. And he's broken away. 
Is he going to make the try line? Yeah, oh, wow. Yes, he has. What a try. What a try by Sebra. He takes it in the air from the line out and then he puts it on the try line. 25 meters on. What a wonderful score that was. So, Sebra, take the lead. And I'll make it 10 points to 8 at the moment with the conversion to come. So a challenging kick. To put Sebra four points ahead. Good effort. Unsuccessful. So Zebra lead, 10 points to eight. With about... Oh, a bit of confusion on the Zebra side as uh, Millfield take a quick one, knock it forward. Zebra break away. Here we go. Quick recycle from Sebra, whips it out. A little nudge forward and it's straight out. So. Millfield redeemed, we've got an injured player sadly on the pitch at the moment, which uh, has been looked after. It looks like a Sebra player. So, time off. This wind has been unrelenting all day. I'd like to say it's dying down, but it uh, suddenly picks up and... Um, at the moment, it's, it's uh, helping... Uh, Sebra, I see. Look at it playing left to right. The wind's coming that way. Certainly not as strong as it was, but it's still there and it's still to their advantage. So, Millfield throw in on Sebra's 10 metre line. Sebra making a substitution. Millfield wins the line, puts the move in. There's the, the crossover. Nice little scissors, ball knocked forward, pounced on by, looks like Sebra, no, Millfield retains it. So Millfield with the momentum. Big tackle, big defence. Let down as he should have been, but Millfield still with the ball. I think that went forward. Knocked on. As the referee says, so Hold 
Sebra with uh, strong defence as Millfield tries to find the gaps. Substitution being made by Millfield. Looks like it's their 10. It's been replaced. Big scrum. Millfield boring in, I'd say, but they've taken one against the head. Unlucky pass, but Millfield keep it alive. Little chip through. Not for. Oh, it's a try by Millfield. The referee's awarded that. So Millfield take the lead. Score now 10-13 with conversion to come. As I say, it's been a score difference throughout this game. Incredibly close, close match. Still plenty of time for Sebra to come back or for Millfield to extend its uh, score. Great effort. And he's got it. What a great kick that was. So, five points in it. Sebra's got to score a try. Kick deep and Millfield exits back to where we started on the halfway line by looks things. No, we've got to the 10 meter line. So Sebra throw in on Millfield's 10 meter line. Collected well by Sebra, held in. Sebra looking to use their scrum to dominate Millfield. However, not making much. Referee calls that's once. Now the ball's released. Whoa. Picked up. Oh, out, out the back. Whoa. Wow, there's some huge hits going in. I think Millfield might have been offside there. However, Sebra break the game line. Looking to... Again, the ball retained by Sebra, though dropped in the tackle. Number 10 looks a bit dozy. No, the referee said it's been knocked on. I think the Sebra number 10... Uh, took a bit of a knock. No, he's all right been looked at by his coach coach says he's okay Big scrum by Sebra. However, Millfield retain it. Stepped by their 10. Good recovery. However, high tackle. Allows Sebra a clean exit.
So about 10 metres on that. Again, the wind playing a major factor. Perhaps a bit more. Still in Millfield territory. So, stolen by uh, Sebra. Ball kept alive. Scrum off steps inside. Offloads. Again, Sebra retaining that ball well. Scrum half making a dashing run. Offloads. Sebra on the march. Here it is as we wind down the clock. How's Sebra going? Keeping the ball going. Taken in by their big number five who protects the ball. Now into the 22. Spreading the ball wide as they go through. Number eight punches a hole to get across the game line. Like Referee's got his arm out for a penalty by the looks of things, and he's through. Again, another life try saving tackle from Millfield, but I think the advantage is with them, uh, with Sebra, as they keep going towards the line. Great defence by Millfield. Pressure on Millfield as Sebra keep probing. Picking going, and again, driven back. Sebra just on the edge of Millfield's red zone. Ball comes out. Big drive by the prop. No, the referee's blown up for a penalty. Takes the play back. That's where he's put his hand out during that uh, maul. Can't be that long to go in this game. Had a couple of stoppages for an injury. So, what's Sebra going to do? Five metres out, or looks like nearer ten metres out. Again, number five catches. Big drive by Millfield. Sebra set and starts gently moving forward. Ball has gone out. Penalty again to Sebra. Yeah, I don't think they're allowed to do that. So, a rush to the line, held up by Millfield, and it is a baseline dropout to Millfield. Holding up that try, perhaps a little bit more composure from Sebra might have. Uh, Allow that opportunity to develop into something else, but here we go. Millfield kicking out. Can't be that lot much left on the clock. So, great kick out to the halfway line. Sebra take. Offloaded. Sebra retain the ball. That was offside. Referee's got his arm out for it. Again, Sebra retaining the ball. Great hands. Winger making a good run. Great defence by Millfield, however. Offside by Millfield.
So we could be getting to this uh, point that uh, should Zebra score and not convert, then we're going to the difference in tries, and I don't know who that is. So with two tries apiece, if uh, Sebra score, they'll win on tries. So all to play for as this uh, match comes to its conclusion. A little bit of confusion on the line. We've got coaches all over the place from Millfield. Oh, they're making a sub. That's the reason why. So, quick line out from Sebra. As they now get into Millfield's 22. Really has to be a last move here, or oh, he retains that ball very well. No, he's knocked it on. And Millfield win it. There we go. Commiserations to Sebra. A great match. Most probably one could say the run of play with Sebra. But uh, a wonderful exhibition rugby. And uh, Millfield, England school champions. Congratulations to both sides and congratulations to the coaches as we move into our final match of the day, which will be Greys versus St. Trinities. So Gray's ready to take their, the field with their uh, subs providing a tunnel. Sebra still waiting to come off the, uh, and Millfield still waiting to come off the field. Gray's already on. Zebra clack off Millfield after a wonderful game of rugby and Ipswich uh, sorry so Raynan Van Toren is uh, Raynan Van Toren takes the uh, honours on this match as Greys line up against St. Trinity Solid. There's a lot of noise in the background. So Trinity just getting in a huddle before the game as the match is cleared. Trinity, uh, I know, um, tour Dubai. They uh, 
have come out several times and play the likes of the Dubai Hurricanes, biggest club in the UAE. So some of these uh, young lads were out in Dubai about four years ago. Um, so this is be a fascinating game. You've got the powerhouse from South Africa, Gray's College, against the unbeaten Trinity College. Gray's kickoff. Into the wind. Ball kicked back. Being run. Gray's fast paced rugby. Disrupted pass from the scrum off. And the referee has already set a high tackle. Quick discussion by Grays on what they're going to do. Going to go for touch. As they say, that's a good nudge. And uh, takes Grays within about five metres of uh, Trinity's five metre line. So the first line out of the game. Wind is starting to die down now. The flag's not so... Uh, straight as they were earlier today. Referee calls for the gap. Ball in. Nicely taken by Grace. Now they start the rumble. Classic South African rugby. They're almost across the line already. Penalty in their favour. And it's a try to graze already. So, just about two minutes in, and uh, Gray's already across the line. I've got Tom Pullen here from uh, World Schools Rugby, Grays College. He's uh, give us some facts about Grays. Great team. Great team. Thank you very much. We know that they they've got a win rate of what over ninety one percent win rate from Grays. So that's wonderful. Uh, um, just checking their. Uh, They've got any international players in them? Okay. 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 Taken well by Gray, who now looked to cut away from the 22. Nice offload. Knocked on, though. Now, Trinity looking to take the ball forward. Clear out well. Good speed off the line by Grace. Gray, sorry. Trinity with the pace. Good defence by Gray. Good ball retention by Trinity. Still driving forward. Gray's putting up a stiff defence as Trinity tried to probe the gaps. It won't go that way. However, nice offload. Stepped. Oh, here we go. Take him for a walk. He's got to be let down gently, and I imagine he's going to be. Ball is out. Still with Trinity. Little chip forward. Whoa. Into the goal line area, and Gray retain control of the ball, clear it nicely. Doesn't go out. Trinity there. 
Now it's now it's with Trinity. Now he's got it. Oh, what a tap tackle he would have got through there. Great defence by Gray. Woo! Trinity's still up for this. Still probing forward. And the referee calls a penalty for uh, Trinity uh, for Gray not rolling away in the tackle by the looks of things. Great side to tap and go. Trying to use their powerhouse against Gray whose D is really strong by the looks of things. Loop round, there's the gap. Oh. And there's the try by Trinity. Wow, this is gonna be a good game. Here we go. Great play by Trinity. Nice little loop round pass. Creates the gap in the defence of uh, Gray. And a driving run puts the ball over. About uh, 10 metres to the right of the posts. Conversion successful, seven points all, game on. So, a good kick. Just reaches the 22. Trinity drive out, protect the ball. Use of the wind, kits it down. Position by Gray, full back, or is it the winger? Winger, I think. Taken in around the 10 meter line of Trinity. Good handling skills by Gray. Gray with the momentum now, using their big forwards to power up. A little chip forward. Well, that speed that could go all the way if he's not careful. Ooh, wow, that was close. <laughs> So, uh, unlucky for Gray, fortunate for Trinity. So kick out by uh, Trinity from the ball going dead in their 22. So Gray look to penetrate the defense of Trinity. Trinity standing strong at the moment. But Gray now building up a momentum as the ball goes through the hands through the backs out to the uh, far side. Little stop start, great tackle. Gray not making any ground at the moment. Now they're lying flat again, putting the pace on. Now they go. Put the winger, f good hands by the winger. However, wrapped up well by Trinity. Hey, Andy, don't let him do that. 
Good ball retention by Gray as they use their fours now to drive the Chen channel. The referee's got his arm out for a penalty. Playing advantage to Gray. Again, a lot of pressure on the scrum half by, uh, on the Gray scrum half by Trinity scrum half. There he goes again. A oh, little shot, shot pass, and now we go again. Looks like Gray's got the momentum. Is the referee called advantage over? I'm not sure. Would have thought so by now. Oh, big Bosch. And there's the offload. And there's the try by Gray's. Under the post. Good flowing rugby by Gray's. Offloading in the tackle. Allows the ball to be kept live. Using their big forwards to dent a hole in the Trinity defence. So conversion successful, 14 points to seven in favor of Gray College. Oh, 12-7, sorry, big one, straight out on the uh, kick Gray calls for a scrum on the halfway line so almost 8,000 viewers watching this game welcome to those that have uh, joined this last match, you missed some fantastic rugby earlier in the day. So, big scrum from both packs. Gray, take it to the right. Speedster's going into play now. Great hands by Gray. Busting through tackles. I think uh, Trinity got to watch their offside if they're not careful. Referee says play on. Disrupted again by that scrum half. However, he's a bit too enthusiastic and causes a penalty for being offside. So, what's Gray going to do from here? Into the 22 they go. Great line out. Gray set, start the drive. Still got the momentum. Good defense by uh, Trinity and they win the uh, possession after the ref called them all ball didn't come out so well done Trinity on that
So to keep in touch with this wonderful festival, we'd recommend a subscription to the Rugby Pass YouTube channel. And you'll be able to keep the live updates as Gray goes across to score their third try with a dominant rumble up the right hand corner. To extend their score at this stage to 17-7. And I imagine there'll be a water break after this conversion. Yes, the refs, refs called it by the looks of things. Successful conversion. Takes it 17 points to seven in favor of Gray College against Trinity. We go to a two minute water break. So we've gone through to 8,100 people watching this channel. Congratulations to you. And uh, as I say, to keep track, please subscribe to the Rugby Pass YouTube channel where you'll get all the latest information on this festival. People watching from the four corners of the rugby world. As the players restart the second session of the first half, that's a lovely kick. Taken by Trinity. Taken by Trinity. No, it's one back by Grays, I think. High kick, good, good effort. However, knocked forward and picked up by Gray, who then start their march towards the Trinity try line. Knocked forward. Oh, the referee said it went back. Stepping inside, good drive. Just about across the game line now. Good driving, spinning out of the tackle and driving forward. Great, retaining the ball, now start to use their fours to punch holes in Trinity's defense. There it is. Who's with him? He's got one on the outside. Great tackle. Try saving tackle there. Ball's out. Now Trinity looking to recycle. Gray's putting the pressure on into the red zone for Trinity as they try to defend with this uh, and penalty to Trinity. I think for not releasing. So here's the challenge for all you viewers. Let's see how many likes we can get today. 
just for the stats. And let's see how many likes we get on the last day. A virtual Mexican wave will do. Tap and go from Trinity. Brave stuff. Little chip and go. Well, good, com good composure from that young man. Two attackers coming on to him and he retains the ball and allows Gray to recycle. Back into the 22 they go. Again. Great hands by Gray. Good ball retention and good defence by Trinity. They are holding up. But the speed of play here by Gray is uh, something to watch as they keep driving forward now. Got a momentum. Here come the rumble from the forwards. Big recycle. They got the overlap if they want to use it. Oh, we could have gone there. Retains the ball well, sets it back. However, not releasing them, says the referee. So, opportunity for Trinity to clear it line, its lines. So Trinity with a throw in. Big long throw, well taken by Trinity. That's a great line out. Great tackle by uh, Gray as they drive them back. Now Gray with the over with Trinity over the overlap and uh, penalty. And a bit of back chat as well. Doesn't help uh, Trinity's cause as they march forward ten more meters. a high tackle so Gray looked to put it in the corner to turn the screw and that's a great nudge So, uh, Gray to throw in in this final m game of rugby on day one. Trinity, however, win the ball. Now they've got the overlap. Are they going to stretch the legs and uh, open up the Gray defence? Gray, good uh, defence comes back quickly. Trinity still keeping the ball in hand. Oh, lovely ball out. Here we go. Still going through. He's on his own a bit. He's going to get jackaled if he's not careful. And now Trinity's got the uh, pace on the ball. Another long pass out. Off. Knocked forward by both sides, but uh, Trinity knocked it forward first. So uh, it's a scrum down to Gray. So, uh, <laughs> referee restarts, ask the front rows to get a bit closer.
pulling down on the uh, front row causes uh, Trinity to be penalised give Gray the advantage on the halfway line with about five minutes to go on this half Gray moved down to the 22 of Trinity remember of course in the second half they're going to have the wind advantage although playing with the sun in their eyes So this competition first came to life in uh, 2018 down in Pal. It was run in 2019 and then unfortunately COVID hit. So this is the competition revived in Thailand. Where we're hoping that it will remain for uh, future years to come. Quick line out, releases the uh, center, knocked forward, picked up by Trinity. Now they're looking to stretch their legs little nudge forward still putting pressure on oh a little back pass there lovely skill bit of boshing to get a line forward retains the ball well and off go gray oh he knocked that forward no he didn't knock it forward So a nice long kick, now asking uh, Gray to launch an attack from their 22. Goes to the security of his forwards who successfully recycle the ball. Some big hits going in from both sides here. It's Gray take it back into their half, launch a kick, big high one, well taken. So good defence by uh, Gray and good ball retention by uh, Trinity with the runners. Again, Trinity looking to use their fours, however, jackaled by confusion all round. And uh, Gray College come out on top with a penalty for offside I think touch of handbags at dawn full uh, South African referee contingent here both on the touch lines and uh, in the in the middle I think we might have a head HIA just uh, checking time off Give him a quick check. Coach Simon there. Time on again, says the referee. Treat to Coach Simon there, he's just uh, checking. Good line out from Gray, retains the ball and they start their drive forward. Ball securely at the back. Referee's got his arm out for coming into the side. Oh, pulling the right, pulling them all down.
So, penalty to Trinity for Gray not releasing in the tackle, I think. Not releasing the ball. So, Trinity looked to clear their lines with a big kick, which, uh, well, we thought that would have gone a bit further, but uh, we're at uh, the 10 meter line of Trinity. So, nice line out from Trinity. Recycles the ball quickly. Oh. Sadly, a ball went behind the player, causing it a knock on. And the ref calls for half time with Gray in the lead by 17 points to seven. So as we restart uh, the second half with Greys in the lead, uh, 17.7, I want to remind you to subscribe to the YouTube Rugby Pass channel and uh, let's uh, see how many likes we can get today and compare them to the likes on uh, the last day. Um, 
It's a fantastic channel, great news about rugby all around the world. Uh, and most importantly about this event, where you can see all three days of action on the on the UPass cha uh, Rugby Pass YouTube channel. So please subscribe, stick your thumbs up, help the players, help the organisation really make uh, this wonderful festival a success. Thank you very much. As we get ready to start, off we go. Trinity now playing from right to left. Taken in by Gray, who protect the ball well. He's come through the middle, but the referee says no. Handbags at dawn again. So Grays with the wind, kicks out and nudges it just about a metre beyond the uh, halfway line. Good line out, quick line out, taken, smuggled through, good defence though by Trinity. as they use their fours and a crunching tackle. Drives Trinity back. As the fours still, oh, geez, <laughs> there are some big hits going in there. So Gray, oh, charge down, here we go. Nicely recovered by Gray, another big hit. Steps and uh, makes some good ground up. Again, Gray's looking to probe with their forwards. Trinity up, up for it. Pick and go. Breaks the game line and makes a good 20 metres. Again, Gray protecting that ball well. As they now put it out to the backs. And they've got an overlap if they want to use it. Does, doesn't look like they're going to have to. Great tackle. Try saving tackle from Trinity. Still with the ball, still making ground. Great defence by Trinity. As it comes back, forwards now against backs. Great tackle. And uh, still Gray moving forward. Making the ground. That was knocked forward. That was tremendous defence by Trinity. Great pressure by Gray. M met by a strong, determined defence by Trinity. As Trinity wait to feed the scrum on their five metre line. Sun going down here, as has the, the wind. It's still there, but uh, it's not as strong as it has been all day. So the, that advantage is still with Gray. Ball is in. Good line out. Oh, bit of risky stuff there, but a good clearance and a good nudge. That's a great exit by Trinity. Well played. Quick line out by. Uh, Grays and uh, Trinity are up for it. Lovely pop pass. He's seen the gap. He's allowed. What's the referee blown up for? Oh, the line out. Okay. We'll restart the line out. Successful line out puts the grey back line into action. They got the overlap. Oh.
Trinity not rolling away. So, Gray in attacking uh, position, five meters from uh, Trinity's try line. I reckon it's going to be a catch and drive. Referee asking for the distance between the uh, one meter distance in the in the line. Oh, it's a short ball. Here they go. Still driving forward. Try time. <laughs> so Gray's uh, asserting themselves on this uh, game, Gray College. Take the lead to 22, seven, with conversion to come. Great effort. Sadly, not converted. So, Gray College, 22, Trinity College, seven. Kickoff successfully fielded by Gray, who uh, retained the ball in their 22. Looking to clear the ball out. There it is, the little box kick. That's a good kick. Who's there? There's a nudge. Good step. Quick recycle by Trinity. Using the back line now. Oh, went backwards, hopefully. Good recovery. And I think uh, Gray going off their feet there. Oh, big nudge. Still going strong. And into touch. So, uh, covered a lot of the field there. Wow, ambitious throw in. I swear they're a bit grateful that was recalled. So, Trinity, work a plan to start their campaign up to the Gray's College, uh, Gray College try line from the halfway mark. Just in, one meter about, one meter in on uh, Trinity College's territory. Nice line out, the referee allows it to play on. Good back move. Gray College up for it though, read it well. 
putting tremendous pressure on the back line. However, the referee has called them back for a penalty against Grad. Didn't catch the signal or what it was for. That's a good nudge. So what can Trinity College do from here? Stolen by Gray College, but I think it's a knock on. And subs coming on now for both sides. Breeze is starting to pick up again as the sun sets over this wonderful venue at Patana. In the distance, you might see that lake, and beyond the lake, there's base camp where uh, the boys can have a swim in a pool and uh, do some undercover training out of the sun. Nice little restaurant in base camp, and then the training pitch is off to the left. Great to see the uh, views going up now, up to 8,200, that's wonderful. As I say, keep subscribing, keep your likes coming. Let's see if we can uh, set the bar for the, for the rest of the week. So, free kick to Trinity. Loop round, putting some pace on the ball. Good cover tackle from uh, Gray. Referee puts his hand out for the uh, interference by uh, Gray on the number nine, playing advantage. That's a great line. However, there was crossing from uh, Trinity and he's gone back for the original penalty of being offside. So Trinity, What can you do from here? Great line out. Now they're set. But good D from uh, Gray pushes them back. Trinity reset. Still, Anna, they've snaffled it back. Well done, Gray. And that's a great clearance. So the last water break before we move into the final session of the second half. Gray retaining the lead at 22-7. Uh, no score either side in that session. Uh, after today, we'll make uh, there'll be some draws for the second day of rugby, which will take place on Thursday. And. Uh, so if you subscribe and uh, to the 
Rugby Pass YouTube channel, you'll get an update of that draw and then you'll be able to put it in the diary, wake up early or go to bed late and watch some, some fantastic schoolboy rugby. Future stars of the game being uh, played out here. Water break over, Scr line out to resume with uh, Trinity put in, throw in. Four man line out by Trinity. Goes over the top, collected by Gray, not forward. So, put in for Trinity. Good scrum by Trinity. Retains the ball well, however, they've got a nudge on. Oh, well played the scrum half. Oh, a bit of a high tackle there. That's going to set them off a bit. So, cuddles are over. Referees are having a discussion. Trinity getting a talking to. Tells both sides to calm it down. Let's just play rugby. <sighs> Trinity kicked the ball down into the... Uh, Gray College half, about uh, equidistant between the 22 and the 10 metre line. Again, going for a four man line out. Keeping it along. Big long ball. Good line out. Good defence by uh, Gray College. Good ball retention by Trinity. However, a bit of pressure. Not releasing in the tackle. Trinity take it fast. Welcome to schoolboy rugby. I think we heard that up in the stands. And another penalty. Going off their feet. So, around about 15 metres out, possibly a little bit less, from the grey try line, Trinity uh, starts an attack. With a four-man line out, looks like it.
big disruption, not straight, calls the referee. Gray call for a scrum. And will they kick or will they run? Twelve minutes to go now. Great scrum, they're running it. Good powerful run from the grey number eight. Now the clearance. It's not gone into touch. Trinity knock it forward, or was it ripped? I think it was ripped by Gray. Well done, Gray. So, Gray still moving forward. However, referee has called a penalty against Gray, I think for sealing or going off their feet. It's difficult with the sun going down and the color of the ref's shirt. Can't. Big long pass, looping pass out. Here we go. It's going to be bundled out of touch. 16th man, oh, e. not releasing in the tackle. So Trinity looking to spread it wide, releasing their forwards up against the backs to find some gaps. And the strong grey defence, a bit of a loose pass there, which allows grey to regroup on a scrum. Subs being made by uh, Trinity. Great to see the viewership going up now, almost uh, 8,500. Well done to you. Thank you very much for your support on Rugby Pass. Do subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Let's support uh, school rugby in this unique event. First held in 2018 in Paul, South Africa. So, scrum on Grey College's 10 metre line with the Grey College put in. What are they going to work from here? Big scrum by Gray College. They go off to the blind side. A little nudge forward. Clever little kick. Put some pressure on the full back. Who now takes it in with three Gray players chasing him. They'll hold him up. That's a Gray scrum. <laughs> oh, no. Yes, no. Ball gone to ground. And it's a grey scrum. <laughs> Great chase there by Grey. And look, good recovery from uh, that kick by uh, Trinity. Scrum again by Gray. Oh, that's a line. That's a great line. Ball being really recycled quickly by Gray. They got the overlap if they want to use it. Guy decides to take it in. Ball protected well. Gray now using its fours to bust through the uh, Trinity defence. Uh, 
And it's a penalty. Good defence by Trinity. Gives them a chance to clear their lines. With around about seven minutes to go. And that ball successfully went into touch to give uh, Trinity a throw in about five metres from the halfway line in their half. So lots of jumping in that line out, but no ball arrived. Let's start again. In it goes. Quick line out, quick ball. Trinity looking to use their fours to punch a hole. Oh, nice little move. Great tackle though, causing the knock on. Very good move by Trinity there. One off the training park. Great defence up for it. So, great put in on uh, Trinity's 10 metre line. Looks like a big back move coming up from Gray. A couple of dummy runners. Loop oh, pushing for the ball going in. That's a wasted opportunity by Gray. Trinity look to spin it wide. Woo ball is out. Ref says referee. Good, good penetrating run again. That's good across the game line. Trinity protecting the ball well. Going low though in the pass. Good clear out. But they've managed to retain possession, Gray, and they now start their attack. They've got numbers on the outside there if they want to use them. So here they go. Oh, there we are. What a shame. Again. Trinity, good in defence, putting the pressure on Gray. So what can Trinity do from their uh, 22? I think they're going to play uh, a running game from here to just get a chance of scoring. Good scrum by uh, Gray, the scrum half did well. Great, great hit there. Now it's down to the fours to try and break out from this determined defence by uh, Trinity, uh, by, sorry, Gray. Again, Gray still moving forward. Trinity going backwards. Out the back, bit of brave rugby. Tends not to work. Still going, still going. Gray putting the pressure on. Penalty for not releasing in the tackle. Trin determined to run it out and score a try from their 22. Good clear out. However, Gray have managed to snaffle it. And away they go. So I think we can safely say this is going to be Gray's game. Uh, 
as they look to put the turn the screw with a line out five meters out or thereabouts from Trinity's line. Oh, a long ball, doesn't reach the jumpers. However, looks like uh, Gray has managed to retain it. Or oh, has, uh, no, looks like it's come out Trinity side. So Trinity looked to break out, fortunately dropped the fall forward. And Gray now on the attack. Big run by the number eight. Forwards powering forward. Looking to score the final try of the game. Tremendous defence by Trinity. And they've still, uh, looks like they've managed to snaffle it. Little chip over. Who's the runner? Man on man, who's going to come out? Oh, forward pass there. And not noticed by uh, referee, so we carry on. Gray reset, pick and go. Big forward drives, takes them 10 meters into the, uh, further into the 22. Now they're into the red zone of Trinity. He rolls, does he score? <coughs> Held up by Trinity, great defense by Trinity. Superb attacking by Gray. There we are, that's the end of the match. Congratulations to Gray College for a, a good win against Trinity, whose uh, record, unbeaten record, sadly comes to an end. And that actually ends our rugby for today. Please join us again on Thursday. And thank you for everybody supporting and all your comments on the chat. It's been great to see. And uh, we look forward to you joining us on Thursday around 11.15 local time here in uh, Thailand. Thank you very much and have a great evening. Keep well and keep safe. This is the World Schools Festival of 22 signing off.